everyone, I had an audition for a movie. I can't say which one it was, but it's a big one. And at the end of the day, I had to be Scottish. Now, Brendan is laughing at me because I couldn't look more Italian right now. Italian? No, what, you look what? like the biggest pedophile I've ever seen. Italian? You're good boy I was here. supposed You're to be creepy. You're I'm supposed to be creepy. You don't like my tiny mustache? We can't even see it. Oh, no. There's no mustache. There's no mustache. There's I thought not. you had a goatee. Ah, damn like it. A little I didn't do it right then. <laughs> I'm not good with how to cut the, my facial hair. I did this crappy. You look hands down like the biggest pedophile I've ever seen. I look so terrible, right, with my hair. Do you to always the side. do that? The, your good boy come over? Like no, that? I just think it's horribly creepy when I go. Tom's <laughs> disgusted. I am horrified. He's. I'm. Tr I'm laughing. Tom goes. Do you do you always do your hair <laughs> like that? <laughs> Tom Segura is with us. One of my favorite comics. Period. And and looked at my driver's license as we were having this meeting, and it says I'm five eleven, and he goes. Bro, 5'11", <laughs> come on. And he shook his head. Then he stood up next to me, and I was like, I am. I tower over you. Come on, that's ridiculous. I tower over you. You could eat peanuts off my head? <laughs> Easily. How tall You're, are you, Tom? 5'11". <laughs> <laughs> Every bit of 5'11". I'm 5'11". <laughs> bro, you're 5'6". I'm not. <laughs> I, I just slouch, bro. I slouch. <laughs> Dude, how was it? Were you intimidated to uh, audition with the accent, to do the, uh, the Scottish accent? You know what? It's so it's so crazy when you do these kinds of things and these it's such a long shot that I just I just show up and you I do just do a lot of them and by the way I was smiling too much in the audition I <laughs> really you're probably, supposed to be too creepy I think so you're like why is he smiling uh, you know what that's even creepier though. it is yeah no it is I said I'm really nervous the first time I've been in front of a camera like this so anyway and I started telling a story about the first time that I became for, I went from being a good man to a, a bad man to a good man how long was it it was a long story but it went well they liked it a lot they liked the was story. there any other fame well is there was there more famous guys in there to say the least there there's really? some great very very well known actors and actresses there so don't you worry about that did they ever tell you hey you don't have to do the accent <laughs> nope. Uh, you, you <laughs> know, can, can you try it without that? Accent? That's the sign. The bottom line is, what's <laughs> funny is when you go into these auditions for huge movies. Yeah. You you walk into that waiting room and you go, oh, I recognize. Not only do I recognize everybody here, they've all done work, more work than I've done. Really? Yeah. It's crazy. So some big. And that's always been the case. Like, well, you you go into rooms and I remember like just sitting there with Justin Priestley or Jason Priestley, mm -hmm. uh, Luke Perry. Um, I mean, that, that was, was in 1991. It was. It was way back, right Jesus after nine. Christ. It was after Melrose. Place. Doogie Howser. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fred Savage. Richard Grieco. Just the beast of the beast, <laughs> my man. No, but then you see like actors like you Dustin just see Diamond. like famous, famous. Like they're just sitting there waiting to audition, and you're like, "How? I saw you in 50 movies, and here you are." And they're asking you for lunch money. Well, yeah, man, they're they're looking for a job, and oh, by the way, you'll get what they give you. You're not making money. There's no negotiating. No, they don't need you. On oh, movies? you don't want to be in the next huge yeah. Batman that or whatever. That scale is so skewed. In Batman, in, in Batman, one guy's getting paid. Everybody else is getting scale. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's so skewed. Like the movie stars get the money, yeah. Makes and sense, everybody though. else. Yeah, it does. You do get tickets, residuals. Right? It's all tickets, and then they're like, "Here's yeah, here's what you're getting," and. That's with everything, though, right? Yeah. That's with the UFC. Yep. Fighting. How much do the guys in the prelims make? They're not making much. No. But they need to But then there's space. the headliners getting paid. The biggest headliners get really paid, right? Well, uh, yeah, some of them do. Some of them. Yeah. That's a... That's Defines a really... It, no, it it's a... what you mean really It paid. is like the craziest business in that it's the inverse of boxing, where like boxing, if you're, if you're the guy in the ring and, and people, you know, want to watch this fight... You get the lion's share, and then promoters get their cut. Yes, where UFC is like the 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 company has so mastered this business. This they've defined it as such that like no, it's that you're in this thing. You're lucky to be in this. Yes. They get it, and then they're like, mm -hmm. you can you get. A Actually, I never thought too. of that, but that's exactly right. It's exactly right. What do the fighters get? Seven percent of or something? Or the uh, last I saw, I think it comes out to the fighters get paid. I think it's like seven percent. That's that. That was that, I saw that figure. Don't quote me. I saw that figure probably two years ago. Let's Someone be told honest, me 7%. though. Nobody gets into fighting to be a millionaire. It's not like, hey, Dad, Mom. No, I want to make it. millions of dollars. I could either be a surgeon, an entrepreneur, or a fighter. Well, you know? but acting's less than that, isn't it? Acting 100%. less than one percent make money. Oh my god, dude, actors. They don't. say less than one percent make. And a now living. it's got worse than ever. And stand-ups too. I mean, honestly, like the only uh, there's a small percentage of people who really make significant yes. money in stand-up. You know? yes. Well, like, That's very true. 
because I guess I don't understand the dynamics of stand up. So well, let, let's say you're just you're just an average comic and you go on the road. How if you're headlining, you, how, right? If you're headlining, pull, and you go on the road, and you go on the road, what people don't realize weekend. is that a lot of times they'll show up at a club, and let's say somebody you like you don't know his name, but you're you're going to a, an improv or a funny bone somewhere. You're like, I don't know the guy's name. You show up and the club's full and you're like, oh, this dude's getting paid right now. Nobody really understands the fact that maybe that guy that no one really knows, he's not a famous guy, he probably sold like maybe like maybe 30 people bought tickets to that show and then they discount sold 150 and then they gave away, gave away 150. Just because they want to sell alcohol. Because they just want to sell booze and food. So everyone's like, wow, this guy sold. And that comic's making 1200 bucks for the whole For the weekend. whole weekend. For the, from, from, from Thursday yeah. to Do they pay Sunday. for his flight? Yes, they yeah, pay for his pay flight, for flight and they'll put him up. But it's still like it's and imagine if you're the guy going set like the middle guy who's doing 20 minutes before him, He's you get what? 600 bucks and a couple drinks. No flight. Yeah, or you, so you get better be local, or right? less you than 600. You fuck know. traveling, right? Uh I I did it for a full year of nothing but every week did that and so you just the only way you can survive is you have to run up debt to like to live. Yeah. Because you're like well, buying, you're, you're investing yourself at that you point. are it's, it yeah. is the way you have to look at well, it. well for you and I, I said this you know i've said this many times there are you're you don't get funnier than you are i mean you're That's you're so one of those guys who can sit there and not move and be hilarious for an hour seeing it a thousand times and and it but it's funny the point i'm making is that when you're as good as you are you think like if you were as good as you are in any other field you'd be making a lot of money yeah and it's still i mean now you're starting to sell theaters and stuff but it took it's, a long the money's time. better now but yeah, yeah it takes a long it takes a long time and there's no like you know you never know when it's going to come you never know uh yeah. if it's going to happen really because you see really funny guys that that don't make money that's really with anything though, yeah. I'd say, right that's with anything. yes it is with sports anything. too i've seen some of the most talented football players not get a freaking shot isn't that crazy Fo or fighters i've seen some guys were like oh my god this guy's gonna be a superstar. But it drives star. Brennan crazy whenever I say things like he's he's a big athletic guy. He'd probably be playing in the NFL right now if he hadn't done this. And he goes, "Well, that oh really? The the one percent that makes it." I've you know what's it. crazy about football? Because I I'm I'm really into football. Are right? you? I, awesome. It's by my by far my favorite. <laughs> I thought so, you were gonna high five me, but you're no. Playing. I was blocking the your The funny face thing, the guys are talking. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, let me get the in. The funny thing about football is when you talk about the separation between between. You're on the team and your garbage when you talk about elite level can be like a step. Oh it can be God. a foot. It can be like you didn't catch it here, right? Where the guy caught it here and you went to here and they're like, You fucking suck. Mm -hmm. and it's like you don't suck, but yeah. you suck just compared to that those like eight guys yeah. that are like I mean In it's the it's, world. Re it's really crazy. We, or you think about that like, you know, they you're, you're talking, you see a guy blazing past people in football. Sometimes he's blazing past the guy that runs a 4-4. Four, four, <laughs> so you know, weird. like well, that guy's world well, class. Think, is think running about past the guys, him. think about the superstars or stars that they end up getting hurt. So some guy who's never played finally gets a shot. You're right. And then he just tears up and he becomes a superstar. Yeah. There's a lot of guys that never get their shot. They don't get their shot. They're superstars, but they just never have. Well, Maybe didn't Tom Brady fill in for Drew Bledsoe when Bledsoe got hurt? Yeah. yeah. Wasn't it true. Tom Brady who came and goes, oh, I guess I'm the second string? Gang, 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 gang. You know? See ya, Drew. Yeah. yeah. Hit some bench, bud. Crazy. And yeah. then wasn't it Flynn that came in? Matt Flynn. And had like a crazy game. It wasn't even a For season. For Aaron Rodgers. Right? Yeah, it was a crazy game. And they were like, $100 million. And then yeah. he just sucks balls. Yeah, he didn't even do oh, anything after that. He just sucks balls now. Yeah. That's the most intense. Not hike. Yeah. That seems to, they always say it's the most intangible. Like, what makes, like, how do you know if a quarterback's going to shine in the NFL? There's Dude, no formula. Yet. There's nothing you can do. They don't know yet. Yeah. But you know, you know what separates everyone? And this is the same thing for every business, athletics, whatever is it, discipline. Yeah. Number one. Yeah. Everything you do, discipline. The most successful people I know are discipline in every aspect of their life. Well, that's a little bit like uh, Conor McGregor. I said, where do you get your confidence? My work ethic. I go, Everyone I, a lot of guys that. work, and he goes, eh, I, they say they do, but they, they don't. <laughs> guys that are super prepared are, are different, really, because you can say that you're super prepared, and then, yeah. like, look at, like, for, like, what we do, like, Bill Burr, he's yeah. so disciplined and focused with, like, creating material and turning it over, and yeah. it's, like, his putting out his, I don't know, sixth, seventh hour, That's and amazing. then he puts it out, and then he tours with an all-new hour. Like, there's not people, there's a, two or three people that can do it at that that frequency and that level of... That's what separates greatness, yeah. and Bill Burr's one of the great ones. Look at Kevin yeah. Hart. 
Yeah, we, yeah. We get Whitney Cummings. It over. Whitney Cummings. She's did a special. Turn it over. Now she has another special. Turn well, it I over. love Whitney, but don't put her in the same category as Kevin and, and Bill. But I know what you're saying. She's Whitney's. I'm, I'm, no, 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 I'm talking about work ethic. Yeah. You want to talk about work ethic? Whitney, yeah. Whitney works. She works hard. No one has oh, a better yeah. work ethic than that girl. It's she works, crazy. Yeah, she works, works really yeah. hard. Well, with comedians too, it's easy. Or, or with athletics, it's easy if you have a, a set, right? Mm -hmm. If you have a set you know you can do, you just go up and do every night. Sure. Cool, man. You're never going to be a superstar. Never. You're never no. going to make money. You're never going to get that crossover money. Dude, you got to keep writing. I see it now. Like you, yeah, you see the people that don't, they don't progress, you know, because they're not working at it. They're never doing, and it's probably the same in athletics where it's like you kind of, you can stay safe if you want with how you train and how For you sure. prepare, and then there's people that, go way to well, it's, the, level. it's the same with podcasting too yeah there's well there's no standard for podcasting right true like if if special k and evan want to start a podcast cool they can start a podcast tonight yeah yeah, now, yeah. what's going to separate them from the rest of the podcast yeah I know. structure yeah chemistry and discipline yeah that's it's, it's the only way you can do it you if, gotta if you're not put gonna it do it it's never gonna fucking work how often do you guys put this out twice a twice week. a week dude that's good yeah you come here twice a week yeah. oh yeah we yeah. come all the way down here near the beach <laughs> It's not easy for us. We get in front of these mics and we do it. I this live, is I live voice. on the street, though. He right. does. He lives real close. <laughs> he, he's 10 minutes away. But the point is this. It does. We get here. We're but that's late. the difference, though. When you think about it, there's a whole pool, especially now, podcast, radio. What's going to separate you, the cream from the crap? You know what I'm saying? Like, how, how are you going to stand out? Yeah. It's not by fucking honey dicking and showing up late and having bullshit guests. No, and released it maybe this week. Then next week you not release. I it. always tell the new podcast. They're like, "What should I do?" I'm like, "Well, pick a day and put yours out always on that day." Consistent. You have. Well, you have you have your mama's house, right? Your mom's house. Yeah. It's you and your, your wife. House. It's me and my wife. Why yeah. You, yeah. you have your mama's house. Yeah. What you are you? What Rachel Dolezal? out. What are you? Fucking. Wait hell? a minute, you guys. Well, you did have a section where I had to decide. I had to. You, somebody speaks, and I have to guess if it's a black man talking or, or me not, or you. Tom or black. Yep. Tom really? Black. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead and do it. Can we hear hey, it? Hey, yo! Like that. And oh, I had to guess. Dude. Yeah. Hey, yo! Like that. that wasn't as good. Let me hear yours. Hey, yo! Dude. What is that? That's what not a black guy. Hold on. What, what are you talking about? What are you black saying? Guy? He's what? at the University of Miami. You didn't meet him? There's a, it's a black guy. <laughs> What's he saying? I think he's saying, hey, youngin'. Do but it again? It, hey, yo! <laughs> hey, yo! Okay, what else? What else can you say? Close your eyes. How do you have okay. anything else? Okay, can you say, say, yo, watch my girl. Because he's got to go do something. Hold on. Close our eyes. Yeah, watch my girl. <laughs> okay, now I got to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> you just really good. He became a different person. Now, that guy has got a very high, creepy voice. Yo, why? Yeah, I can Yo, do watch different my girl. black guys. You do different black You're guys. You're acting like it's this one black guy. No, it's a spectrum. Yeah, that's racist, It's a spectrum. Brian. You it's think spectrum. they all sound the same? Can you do uh Can you do it? We don't ride a night. <laughs> Excuse me? That... It's a black guy. Say it we again. We don't ride a night. We don't ride a night. <laughs> Man, these guys are all over. It's okay. <laughs> Hold on, it's okay. It's okay. That's pretty good. It's okay. That's close. But Who's is it? Kang. What's up, Kang? Kang? What's up, Big Daddy Kang? Dude? It's <laughs> up, Kang. Yeah, Big Daddy Kang. Um, oh man. How would you say? Uh, how would you say? Law school. Law school is going really well for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's racist, dude. <laughs> there are black lawyers, plenty yeah, of them. I know. So <laughs> I, I'm trying to get you to be. Well, how would you do that guy? Um. Law school's going, going really well for me. <laughs> no, okay, yeah, see, you bailed on that. Man, law school's going real well right now. <laughs> this is... Why dude, is he so angry? Why is he just well, an angry lawyer? Do you think you could help out the uh, the the black-faced lady who thinks she's black and turns out she's not at all and has she's lied? She's the worst human being in the world. <laughs> we didn't realize how bad she is. I was all, he was team, apologizing I was for all her. team white black girl. I was like, no, let her do her thing. She thinks she's black. She can be, be black. Like, Caitlyn Jenner is no difference. And then the fans are like, yo, my man, check this out. She lied to all on all her applications. Yeah. She sued Howard yeah. University. It's she's it's not just the delusion, it's the deception. In yes. other words, like you can be as delusional as you want to be, sure. but then you start deceiving people, you're a liar. I mean that's, that's, that's what I said. You're a liar at the end of the day. You know who well, she no, reminds me of? Do you ever see the movie The Talented Mr. Ripley? Yes. Where Matt Damon Yes. Basically, yep. he is it's different in that it's classist. He wants to be in this like group of like super elite upper class mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. But Jude Law plays like the son of a really rich yeah. kid. And then they're all like, you know, they're he he adapts and he picks up on their like their customs and their etiquette and their <clears> culture. <throat> and then eventually they're just like, dude, like 
we know you're full of shit. You're not, you're not the real thing. You know, we know you're lying and you're pretending. And I think that like, if you're really into some culture that's not yours, that's most time people are cool with it. Like if you're like, mm-hmm. I love Japanese culture, Japanese people would be like, that's great. And you're like, I know all your cultures, but you can't fool them, right? You right. just get to go, I love everything you do. That's being honest about it. People True. are like that all the time. But when you start going, no, I am this other and thing. And my background was I was poor and abused and all that. No, this is the worst. She said she lived in Africa and her parents whipped her like slaves. Interesting. Well, and the, well, then they looked at when her parents were in Africa, she was never there. She made all that up. They went and adopted some, you know, uh, African American kids. Yeah, African kids. African kids became well, African American. Nope, African American now. Yeah, right. adopted them. Four so of they, them. Yes, four of them. Wow. So Doctor Drew, I was listening to Doctor Drew, and he was saying she might have like this weird personality disorder where they adopted these young kids, and then she wanted to be like part of that. Sure. Receive love from her family. Maybe. So then she started that makes she, sense. She's That's also so then she painted her face she's orange. Also, she's also a liar. There's also oh, that. Horrible. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, let me like your own. <laughs> okay, now what? What? Why love, did he love get? Love me like your that, own. That was the same guy who was in law school. Now <laughs> he 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 just said, "Love me like your own." I don't know. But you do know because you just shouted it, Tom. And I just feel but like that's one of the kids probably. Can I be that. honest? I feel like, you have, like I feel own. like you have a dual personality right now. And is that you what might happens? You be a white you? guy. But do you you have a black man inside of you? Yeah. Are you acting like my voice isn't good? Is that what you're trying to I'm say? I'm not. I'm saying that I feel like you have a a, a black man your living Scottish inside voice your heart. Versus my black voice, right? Fucking now. Ooh. I'll do it right now. It's a voice off. What would you like me to voice say? Voice off. Listen to me. I keep it low like that. But if I get angry. Then I start. I start to really roll my arms. And then it's. And then it's. I think it's better when you're angrier and loud. I think you should audition like that. Yeah, I agree. The low. That's the way I should do it. Eh? Angry. angry. I said I got in a fight with the man. I said I hope you've got Satan himself on your side. Because you will need him tonight. I don't like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, terrible. Brian. Killing that shit, man. <laughs> Every four, five fucking years. You come by and do that shit. I don't. I don't know. I don't, now, now I hold know. on, you. Don't you? T- I don't understand a word you're saying. First of all, if you want to step to me, I'm a Highlander, and I will meet you halfway. Know that, Mister Man. Okay. Mister Man. That's right. I called him Mister Man because I don't know your name. I don't care to know your name. I know you're rude. I know you're very, very American, and I know you. You've got anger inside your heart. Now, don't you come at me like that. Come at me another way immediately. Ten times ten with an S on the end. I'm from the hundreds block. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're saying. You keep speaking complete gibberish to me. I'll tell you that right now. I'm from Glasgow, okay? So speak English. Me and Bucket gonna come through and knock that shit up. I don't even know a man named Bucket. Who ever heard of a man named Bucket? Is the dumbest thing I ever heard. You're making me super angry right now. Bucket? Paru, what's up, playboy? <laughs> nah, you covered both your eyes. I don't know what that means, but <laughs> what the fuck is Paru? Paru, sir. You tell me you're laughing. What does Paru mean? I don't know. I have no idea. You tell me then what Paru, Paru It means my dad left. I'm in the gang now. I'm in a gang. <laughs> okay, look, I, it's not my fault that you're oh. in a gang or you've made bad choices. <laughs> made right? bad, cho- bad life right, choices. Right, at the end of the day, honor and aggression are fiercely guarded by Highlanders. And if you come to threaten my flock, I tell you right now, I will take you out. I feel like you're reading from the script now. <laughs> I feel like it's straight script now. Are those the sides? <laughs> Is this the audition? Because I'll tell you now, you didn't get the part. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Damn I'll, tell you, I'll do you a solid. You didn't get it. I didn't get it. It's a massive movie. <laughs> Damn it! I know the movie. That's a big movie. Guys, guess what? I will That's not, your best. I will not be in this movie. Oh, dude, I think you might be. I, don't I know. liked it. I should have done, I should've done your character, dude. Right? Me and Rachel. What if I did teach Rachel how to do that shit better? Yeah, dude, you have got to. You have got to get a little more ghetto. Yeah, I watched your Matt Lauer interview and it was super white. Like, the fuck super was white. That? She's like, "You're white. Why are you here?" Did well, she do a Matt Lauer interview? Yeah. 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 But he didn't really go out. Or you need to go we out. We just or. live in a fucking world where people make m- m- excuses for for crazy liars. Isn't it? But like, it wh- seems like a premise for kind of a bad movie, right? Like if, like it's almost not. You're like, is this? But real? it doesn't go anywhere. Like the movie, movie doesn't really sure. go anywhere. You get caught. So what? Oh well, you're an idiot and moving on. It's not like the cause is hurt really. 
I mean, she gets fired for being crazy. No, and here's the know? thing. In the end, like, the thing that she did that's fucked up is that she's deceiving. She's lying. Yeah. But she was doing, like, productive work. It's not like she was well, that's embezzling thing. That's, money, that's why right? I'm a little bit on her team. That's kind of how I feel like she was working for the cause. For a right. good cause. She really cares about it, obviously. I think it's more like, it's more for me like, you don't get to do that. You know, it's like. You don't get to say that because unless you've earned it, unless you, you haven't earned it. It, 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 you don't have to do it though. There's no, you can still fight for the cause and not paint your face. I, I had this argument. 100%. I had this argument with these guys who were talking about the N word, and they were like, "Well, they can say why can't I?" Wait, what word? My, the the N word that, that were these white guys? Nancy? Yeah, they were white guys, and I said, and I said. I said, here's the problem. The reason you don't get to see, say that word, bro, is that you didn't. Your grandfather or or people before that weren't getting lynched, kicked in the head, kept in slavery, et cetera, et cetera, and being and 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 they weren't called that word. You know, that word has violent and oppressive connotations that go way back. Unless you're a part of that and have had to pay a price for that, yeah, you don't get to call that. You don't get to use that word. That's just that's just the way it is. Are and these, I don't are think these friends of yours. Yeah, what? It was, he was being like a. He, he wasn't saying he wants to use the word. He was he was being argumentative about it. But you do hear that, and th- th- it's that's kind of one of the reasons that you like know a if you share if you share in a common if you share in a common pool of oppression like that, I think that there are there is. Um, there, there are things you can do with each other that other people can't just step into yeah, that space. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. just the way it is. It's yeah. like a, the your, the brotherhood of like being on a team, or you yeah. know, like. Well, I said to him, the guy, I said, the "Super fans never <laughs> like he's not on the team." You yeah, know? you're yeah. like, all right, thank you. You're not coming <laughs> back. <laughs> he's not on yeah. the team, well, even either. like you know, we're close, but like when he's if he's gonna fight, I would never go back back there I, right. I, i'm sure if i won't really wanted to he wouldn't yeah, have a problem sure but the only reason i don't go there i would never be in his corner for example is because i haven't earned that i love him i care about him i, I sit there and watch him because i you know and and i get nervous when he's fighting but I i'm not gonna to take i don't fights. yeah i was really? i didn't realize i thought you i thought i didn't realize how close you guys were yeah i was just like jesus he is obsessed with this i thought he was <laughs> yeah. just like jockeying like, and i am boy man he's gonna blow this guy <laughs> after the fight well i had I did have no. a heart. I had a heart on that. Which, <laughs> which, which fight was that? It was in uh, Toronto with Mitrion. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah that was so a good one. We sat. Good yeah, one for you right, to go to. And he, he, he was like, I mean, super nervous, like pacing. Yeah. Jumping, yeah. And and even even still, the only reason I would never be in his corner or be back there is because you have to earn that. I, to I, get to that place in a lot of ways, well, first of all, you should be helpful. Also, I'm just saying, I'm in general, I, I know you wouldn't mind if I but I'm just saying that well, no, you out don't of know respect, what, yeah, out of respect. You don't know how to fight, so. Right. Yeah. You and, can be and like I've my never, Bieber, though. Right, but I've also never been, and that's <laughs> oh, silly, that's too. Sick, huh? Isn't that silly <laughs> that he's that way? No, I love that shit. That'd be dope. Yeah. If I was super famous, I'd be in your corner. No, you, you, I'd let you be in my corner. Especially if they if if it was a main event and they gave me four corner men, you'd be in my corner. Yeah. Really? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Cause I mean, well, because he'll keep hey, it. Can you ever, he'll keep it light. Can you yeah. ever hear what people are what corner men are barking during? Yeah. The fight? Oh yeah. You, I listen to the other corner. And you don't. That's crazy. Uh, so you don't like zone out where you don't hear it. No. You do hear. I it. can't. I can't really hear the crowd. I zone out where I don't hear the crowd, but I can pick up the corner. You can. Yeah. What What fight in the UFC were you able to actually slow down and? Because I would imagine the first couple times you're fucking just. Crow Cop, I was good. Gonzaga, I was good. After that, was all a blur. All a blur. Wait, what do you mean slow down? <clears throat> just with all like a lot of guys are really great in the gym, or they're great, in the, and all of a sudden uh, they get into the big show, and yeah. it's just the overwhelming energy. Oh right, right. And that my energy God, is especially if you're fighting unreal. somebody who's been there forever. Yeah. Ooh, you know, it's intense. I was at those weigh-ins too. You guys were, <coughs> yeah, right. You guys had a pretty nasty weigh-in. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Brendan, I'll put on a show. What can yeah. you do? That's part of the whole thing, man. I like a good show. Do you watch a lot of fighting? No, I just just because of football. Buddies. Oh, with football, you watch football. That's oh, your thing. I love Who's football. Who's your squad? I'm a big college fan, so I'm a big FSU fan. So that's Florida what, State. Yeah, Are you from Florida. Yeah, oh, so okay, that's that why I talked shit to uh, Tebow when I saw you guys at that restaurant. That's I right. Over. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's right. I, I was just like, oh, oh, here's Darth Vader. I gotta talk to him. Yo, for fuck second. you, man. Yeah. I'm like, whoa, Tom, yeah, come no, on, no. bro. He couldn't be nicer. But it was fun. That he's one of the great like. You know, he's one of the all-time great just figures, personalities in college football. So Ever, get, yeah. Without a doubt. Yes. So yeah. I can, even as, you know, he's the enemy, It's he's a fascinating guy. To now, me. who's your uh, who's your favorite on Florida State? You guys have so many good players. Man. So many good players? Are you a Jameis Winston fan? 
I am. I mean, I know it's like, you know, people, uh, I see him just get bombarded. It's never going to end for him. Well, he, he brings he, on himself. He, he's made a lot of bad decisions. Crap. But am I a fan? Like, is he a guy I'd want on my team? Yeah, I, th- I think. Really? He, for sure. I don't, uh, think, I don't think he's going to be that good. You think he's going to be good? Dude, with with the transition from college, Brian, you never. I literally am like, you, I'm literally like Jameson Winston. Yeah, Jameson Winston. With with the transition, you really never know. I mean, <coughs> I think he has all the tools. It's if he can. I think he has. He definitely has the arm. He has. They ran a pro style offense for years. It's not the NFL, but they ran a pro style oh, offense. Yeah. So it's not like one of these kind of like gimmicky. Guy can throw a rope. Dude, he's he's he hit every. every <laughs> you were right, actually. Guy can squat a lot too. He's got no, some he speed. can't. He can't squat. You would no, take him lot, over Mariota. Me, I mean. Yeah. One hundred percent. Me too. Yeah. yeah. Over Marion. Yeah. Yesterday, yesterday we uh, Brian and I had this uh, photo shoot, and me and the <laughs> photographer talking football. Uh-huh. Brian goes, "Oh, I know, bro. Like you line up against a guy like Charles Bailey for the San Francisco Forty Niners." And I was in my head, I'm like Charles Bailey. Charles Bailey. And then the photographer goes, "You mean Champ Charles. Bailey?" And he goes. Yeah, 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 champ baby for 49ers. ago. go, God damn it. It's I thought you were talking about Charles Haley from like the yeah, I literally just I, moved, I, I, we I wanted so to have something to say, and I was like, I just threw out one Charles athletic Bailey. guy I knew who was like an all star champ Bailey, and I got it wrong by Charles Bailey. Everyone was so dumbfounded that I was like, God, is Brian oh. right? Is this like a new corner? I don't I, know. And I knew I shouldn't have taken a guess, and I was like, fuck it, Bri. Jump out of that. Jump off the cliff. Let's see if you sprout wings. That photo and shoot was fun, though. It was a good time. We did a little photo shoot last night. Yesterday. Yeah. No way. Let's go talk about football more. Yeah, so you played great. at Colorado, right? Yeah, I did. Um, tell us a good shit talking story. I love. What do you mean? What do you mean shit talking? Like on the field. Talking. On the field, just like. Oh, I'll somebody. give you. I'll give you one at. Uh, uh, I have. I have. I have several. First of all, was there a lot of shit talking? Dude, I love okay, asking. No, no, I like asking dumb questions. I like that. You guys talk to each other <laughs> on the field? <laughs> um, when, when I played. Uh, <laughs> We were at University of Miami, hot as shit. That stadium's trash, right? This was Horrible. at the Orange Bowl. Orange Bowl. Uh, just I, trash. I used to go to that, those places. The sun oh. beaming down on you. Oh. And that's and where trash talking is oh, like yeah. art it's form. It's the right? mecca. Yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't know what I was getting into, really, right? <laughs> like, you grow up watching University of Miami. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the guy I was going against all game, multiple guys would be like, don't touch me, white boy. Well, yeah, I have to though. Like, I'm, fr- <laughs> right, I'm real right, friendly. Right, I was like, right. "Well, okay." And it's part then of the like rules of the off. game. And I'm like, "Look, it flustered me." I was like, "Well, what the fuck, man? Don't touch so, me, white boy." Yeah. So then I'd like grab me. Like, I told you not to fucking touch me, white boy. I'm like, "All right, cool." And then the whole game keeps going. And then finally, I was like, "Man, fuck this guy." And I seemed like though there's is like I think a running play, and the ball was like you know d- down the ground, and everyone's like circled around, and he's just sitting there watching. I'm like. Oh, I'm going to go fuck this dude up for talking shit. So I blindside him. Mm-hmm. And for whatever reason, the camera guy was like, oh, check this out. Right on me. Watches me do this dumbass move. I get a penalty. Oh, you got a penalty oh, on bad. it? Oh, bad. Yeah, yeah. Bad. I get reamed out by my coaches so bad. You're like, you after, told me not to touch him. I know. Then after the game, they're all, nice play, white boy, dumbass. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> they just they kept saying, every white player, don't touch me, white boy. I'm don't like, Jesus, me, man. Every play. Wow! Nonstop. See, that's the. I wish I'm, I would pay. I would pay good money to have a field mic where you got to watch games and hear that the entire the time. The actual shit talk. Well, oh my Lawrence god! Lawrence Taylor. Oh, you, I, I've heard they had a mic on oh, him. Oh my god! He's god. legendary. I'll be yeah. back. I'll be back. You know, just yeah. killing them. Just like killing those quarterbacks and just getting in there. But actually, in a lot of in their sports, kitchen. you know, they said that like Jordan was the all-time greatest trash talker yeah, in the NBA. Is that right? Said he'd break oh you down. God. What? Just wear you out. Because they said they said wouldn't that, uh, test Larry your Bird was that man- way. Yes, he was. He would, They said he wouldn't test your manhood, but he would absolutely shit on your game. And he would, t- you know, both Bird and Jordan would both be like, Bird has one, I think it was Dominique Wilkins was telling it how he was like, um, there was there was like three seconds, five seconds left in the game. Celtics are down by two. And um, Bird was like, they call a timeout. And he told he's like, I'm gonna come back right here. I'm gonna shoot it right right here. <laughs> right here. Yeah, to the guy. And he was like, All right. <laughs> like, all right, man. All right, cool, and bro. And then fucking boom. inbound, boom, hit it. And he was like, Dude, That's what's up. those guys are gangs. Yeah, Larry Bird would come out and go, I wonder who's coming in second. Oh, you guys are. He just come in and fight. He got Dr. J to throw a punch at him. Remember that when uh, that like famous thing where Julius Serving was notorious for, you know, keeping his cool and being glassy, and he just fucking got to him. <laughs> I know it's a really old school thing. Dr. J and Larry Bird got in a fight? Yeah, in a fist fight. 
I don't know if it's true about. I don't, think so. I don't know. If, I don't remember that. I don't think so. I don't. Are you just making shit up, you piece of shit? <laughs> no, Doctor Jane Lerber. Look, look, have you seen the meme of like? I, apparently, yeah. Jordan. Was, you remember Muggsy Bogues? Yeah. Right? Yes. He was like <laughs> little Muggsy. And he said I, they said Jordan <clears throat> rattled him to the point where it <laughs> changed his career. Yeah, and man. He was gore- guarding him, and he goes, "Shoot the ball, you fucking midget." Yeah, nonstop. <laughs> I've yeah. seen that. Yeah. They say he was just what? an animal. Like went. Straight for the throw. He was awful. He, they say Michael Jordan. If you beat him at pool, ping pong, anything, he wouldn't talk to you for three days. He well, did you did you hear? Uh, he, I guess, uh, Madonna was dating Scottie Pippen, uh-huh. right? And he really, was, yeah. And he was he not was, Rodman. No, it was at the time of Scottie Pippen. Holy she's, she's shit! Been she's around. Yeah. Up with him. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. And he was jealous because he made a pass at her, and she's like, "Oh, I'm good." And then he found out she's hooking up with Scottie, mm-hmm. and he didn't like passing the ball for like three games. And then came up to Madonna and was like, "What? You know." You, like just talking shit to her, like just breaking. He's a nice out. guy. <laughs> I mean, you don't become the best ever. I was being gonna a say nice guy. he can do whatever he wants. He's the greatest ever. So oh, I don't yeah. know if he can do whatever he wants, but he's good. He grew a Hitler player. mustache. That's yeah, fucking. That is pretty you crazy. You the rest of the kids grew Hitler mustache, and he did commercials with it. I know who told him to grow that terrible like, mustache. With Bugs Bunny, Hitler, Dude. Bugs Bunny. He did a, a Hitler commercial for Hanes. I know, and it was like I auditioned for that fucking commercial to be Michael Jordan. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to be the guy sitting next oh, to him really? on the airplane. With yeah. the with the ruffled collar? Yeah, I think I got a call. <laughs> oh back my anymore. god, yep. that's right. He's all nice collar. Huh. Yeah. I would have been all over him. Uh Imagine one of my buddies me. did a commercial with him and said that like you get like you know how it's like what shooting schedules are. They said that like Jordan comes in and they're like, You have two hours with him. That's it. So like everyone's there ten, Freaked twelve out. hours. Yeah, and they're just like, We're we're he's driving up when it's like it's action time. <laughs> And then, like, a couple other setups, and then he's like, I'm out. Such like, a yeah. baller yeah. move. Yeah, yeah, There's crazy. no hurry up and wait with Michael Jordan. No, he's not John, sitting around. John Girls Brankus. hook up with him. They have to sign contracts. You know that, right? They have to <sighs> yeah. sign contracts. They're like, oh, you, are, are now you looking for anal or just suck his dick? Both? Okay, sign here. Sign yeah. here. Crazy, John right? Brankus was shooting with him, and same thing. He shows up when he showed up. And they go, we're going to have to just do a couple of lighting and a couple of shots. And he goes, why? And he goes, well, just how it goes. And he goes, because you don't trust yourself, right? And John was like, uh, uh, I, I don't know. I, okay, I guess. And it's like, he's just he's just one of those guys who's just fucking. He said he would wear a suit every time he would leave the, the locker room and say, Why do you wear a suit? He goes, Because when people get a glimpse of Michael Jordan, I want them to, I want them to see me in a suit. Yeah. It was yeah. so that, um, that might, that's probably going to be the only time someone will see Michael Jordan. Yeah. So you want it to be like a, holy a shit. Thing. Yeah. He was wearing a $4,000 so yeah, suit. Three yeah. piece suit yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, for the for the hotel of the bus walk. By the way, for all your sports, your trash talking stories are very, very. I mean, they're pretty minimal, huh? Well, yeah. no, we've moved on, Brian. I like the yeah. trash talking well, stuff. Well, no, El, oh, hey, Bit Killer. No, we've moved on. Don't though. touch me, no, white boy. That's all you had though. from University of Miami. Oh, tell I us know, about the like tell us about the sports more... you've played. Well, I was when I was wrestling. Tell us in high school. When I was wrestling. This guy was like, "You ready?" And I go, "I'm fucking ready." And then he goes, "You're gonna get it." And I go, "You're gonna get it." And then we wrestled, and then I got him. Yeah, that's good. That's why we Thanks, left these guys. stories, man. I was trying to do a solid. Well, I mean, I was hoping oh. after all the years of sports, you had a better trash talking story. The New York City Miami, don't touch me, white boy. Well, wasn't there something a little bit more elaborate? Than it was that? a black guy, right? No, he was white. <laughs> really? <laughs> he was white. He was now buying. He, he was he was like the NA and double ACP, but he played for UFC in Miami. Yeah. Don't touch me, white boy. I was like, but you're white. Oh, they had white. fuck you. What was that? Do you remember the guy who played linebacker there that was white? White? Yes, that won. Every award he won, like defensive player of the year, he won all the. Like, his, his last name starts with an M, and he played and he got drafted by University or he, he got drafted by Carolina. Carolina, Panthers. yes, Morgan, Dan Morgan, Dan Morgan. There you go, there you go. That's still was playing. An, if, you're, no. if you're if you're a white boy starting on Miami, you better dude, have your shit together. Dan if you're Morgan, going against that guy. Dan Morgan he's gonna was eat a up. savage, savage. That's Dan Morgan's abs- a beast. Yeah, he, he kept getting like, hurt though. Head, his yeah. head got rocked, and yeah. I think his neck too. Yeah, yeah, but he was a real savage. Dude, whenever you're a white boy and you see him start on any of those teams, like Florida State, University of Miami, you yeah. know he's been through some shit. For sure. Because, A, he got drafted as a white player, yeah. skill player, yeah. to one of these major universities. Yeah. Knowing damn well there's a little bit of bias towards white guys. Yeah. Did you I, feel I that at co- Colorado? I, oh, my God. I had a coach in Colorado because, like, an H-back, right? I was the only white guy in the room. And we're watching tape on, I think it was Baylor. It was Baylor or Texas Tech. I forget. And he's – Fast forward it, and it was a, a white guy returning a kick. Mm-hmm. And my coach 
who's in charge of me in playing time is rewind it and the and the white guy like did like a juke and spun and fumbled the ball and he just goes i don't get it white guys just can't do what black guys do i don't even get why they put them in and i was like well Jeez, all right. like i'm white as shit like it in this league yeah no? it's the worst man <laughs> it, but there is a little bit of bias even in the nfl if you're like go find me a white cornerback Good luck. No, man. I know. If you're white Which corner, is, go ahead and switch position. But the funny thing is, like, when people comment on it, like, there's been times where I remember the Air For- Force head coach and I think, you know, commentators have said things like, we we would want more black players. Or, like, well, you know, the one people, coach people said go, we need like, more speed and that means we got to get more black players right. in the backfield. And, but, and but then you go, people go, like, yeah. you, you can't say that. And you're like, well, they're, like, name me a black corner. Like, yeah, name man. me a black yeah. free safety. I mean, there's a handful of how many black running back or white running backs? Right, right. Like how many white running backs? Corner. I can think of one. Gebhart from uh, Stanford. Okay. Tony Gebhart, right from. Minnesota. It's always good when a list is one, right? Yeah, right. So when a list that's is the one. Hester for the Broncos, LSU. Yeah, but there's literally one. Right. So but think about the, some shit that guy's been through. Oh, it's, get yeah, there. it's unbelievable. It's, he deserves an award. Yeah, yeah. He deserves and some he, sort of NCAA. You yeah. know, he deserves an award. Oh, what's his name? Remember uh, Wayne Krebeck? Uh, for the Jets. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. He, he was, was like great. one Got of a the, lot of concussions. He was like yeah, and he was yeah. like a, one of the first. He was like the white slot receiver. Yeah, he was. Like, now there's a bunch of that for some reason, right? Like a ton. Well, it's yeah. like uh, who's from the who? He just got traded from the Patriots. West West. Uh, West Walker. West Walker. Yeah. Walker yeah. yeah. I mean, he was same thing. Yeah, and they have Ed- Edelman and. Who uh, do you think? Is, who do you guys think is what is besides quarterback? And I think I think quarterback's number one. What is the most skilled position on the field? Like the, the most, the most skilled? skilled quarterback's not number one. It's not f- a- athleticism. I don't know, just, skill. Yeah, skill in general. Like, well, it's skill in that you, you know, you are the captain of the ship, and in a in a pretty in a most especially at an elite level, you know, you're reading everything and you're making things. That's happen, what I mean. Right? I feel so like quarterback's the hardest sense. position. In it's sport. that hardest, yes, but yeah. not most uh, skill. Well, skills that's it's. It's tough, different. right? Because Tom Brady's not the best athlete, not even close on it. Right. Any but that field actually, he steps onto. that brings me to an argument I had with a, a buddy of mine about when they say best athlete. And his, I, I, you know, I don't know if you could make it like a semantics argument. He took best athlete to mean, well, then that would be the best player. So Tom Brady's the best athlete. And I was like, no. When somebody says who's the best athlete, they're talking about measurables yes. like who jumps the highest runs the fastest yeah, but there's right? an immeasurable isn't there there's an immeasurable quality but then what like in other words what are you looking for when you ask that question are you asking <clears throat> who is the guy that would be on an olympic sprinting team or are you asking like who is the best at what you're asking them yeah. to who's do the most that? successful right. or, you know it, it, it's a really weird question it's a very important question because the one thing that we know is that there is that intangible that immeasurable so you can right you gotta measure how fast you run how high you jump and all that and then you get a guy who walks in and he can do everything average like wayne gretzky and he's the best hockey player there is right so but, that would make wayne gretzky in the in the endeavor of <clears throat> certainly the best hockey player in the world um and so you'd have to say in, in i would imagine when it came to hockey, he's the best player. So wouldn't that, that mean, mean he's, he's the, most the most athletic? But see that the best athlete versus the most athletic. I don't know. See, it's a, it's a, I I always interpret like if they go, who's the best athlete at a U three, and we we run and we jump and we bench and like yours, yeah, are, like, that's the best athlete yeah. because yeah. that's how I feel. Like when, you, when you say high. best athlete, you're talking about a spectrum of sports, right? That's how I look at it. Like you go, who's the best athlete? Well. Now you're talking about overall. I think of when you say best athlete, you're talking about an overall spectrum. You're, you're yeah. talking about like you know the best it's, athlete. Period. Then when you say who's the best fighter, who's the best wrestler, who's the best dancer, who's the best hockey player, who's the best ping pong player, who's the best tennis player, now it becomes subjective. Well, it's like Michael Jordan's the greatest of all time, right? Right. The best basketball player. Vince Carter, number wise, is more athletic than exactly. Michael Jordan. Really? Exactly. Oh, and it's way why, more athletic. Wow. It's His why guys. Insane. It's why guys get um, drafted and. And and money uh, for great combines. Yes, they're great athletes, athletes. right? And then they go. That make them great players. Shit. Okay, but here's yeah. my here's my question. Jamarcus Russell, right? But Flip would then wouldn't another part of the conversation about who's the best athlete is the person that can put it all together? Well, that's exactly. A huge, that's, that's a, a that's huge part factor. of the argument. I mean, you had. could even make the argument that the best athlete in the world. The best athletes are. If you say tennis, I will break your. Well, mind. watch. The best athletes are. If you said who are the best I'm athletes of all time, ready? Best athletes of all time. You could make the argument that they are Michael Jordan, uh-huh. Wayne Gretzky, um, Pele, uh, and then uh, who else? Um, but you wouldn't inc- include any like track people like a Jesse Owens. Well, or- the thing is, I'm, all I'm saying is that 
Caitlyn that if Jenner. You, if you looked at, yeah. if you looked, real, why are you laughing? For real. If you, if you looked at, why are you laughing? I'm not. If you, why looked, are you laughing? If you looked at Wayne Gretzky. Caitlyn Jenner's are great. Oh, and Roger Federer, who's the greatest tennis player ever. So, so if you, you, you look at those guys. You look at the pool that they're competing in, worldwide pool. Uh -huh. and then you look at like Roger Federer again, uh, Wayne Gretzky. I knew you were they wouldn't play. win like a lot of like. I don't think they're outside they're, of their sport. Right. Yeah, they're right. Great Yet at they that. were so great. So you wouldn't you have that to say that that they 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 comprise that immeasurable quality, that thing that makes them the best player because so much of it is mental, strategic. So when you're a great athlete, I think don't you also have to take into account their ability to strategize, their ability to be mentally tough, mentally yes. consistent, and uh, their ability to read things that other people can't read and, and be, be there, be where the ball should be. That's kind of a huge part of it. So uh, for me, I feel like like there's too much emphasis on quote-unquote the best athlete physically because there's yeah, a mental sure. side to it. Right? <laughs> Pause. Is it always going like this? Yeah, man. Oh, no. Pause Ask him about books. This gets really fun, Dom. Ask him about books. Huh? But that's an important You read a book? Quota, guys. I'm a reader, guys. I'm glad you asked. What are you uh, reading now? Um, you fucked up, Dom. Right fucked now, up. I am reading The Peace to End All Peace. Seriously? If you want to learn about the Middle East, that's what you read. There you were educating me on the Middle East the other day. I was. It's very confusing. Yeah, but not until I go over it again and you'll go, oh, and you'll is start the, reading. Uh, is the basic premise the Saudis are not our friends? Is that the that would be a very – Pakistan and the Saudi – the two most dangerous countries in the world, some people can argue, are Pakistan and Saudi Arabia, especially Pakistan. Pakistan has nuclear weapons, and they have an extremist element in their government. They are the most dangerous country in the world, and that's not from me. That's, that's from, from a lot book. of That's from a lot of people in the U.S. government who know a lot. CIA guys, John Noggle. Those kind of guys. That's insane. Huh. Yeah. I'm going to switch gears here. Ev, I saw a new uh, documentary on Kurt Cobain again. It's a documentary slash movie. So it's a, what do you call those? It's a little bit movie, a little bit documentary. Brian, what do you call those? Docudrama? I think that counts. I think that would go for it, yeah. It's or called, it's called uh, Soaked in Bleach, and it's Kurt Cobain, but it's the story from the private investigator that uh, his, his wife, what's her name, Courtney? Courtney Love. Courtney yeah. Love hired to you know, like make it seem like she was trying to find Kurt, and this private investigator recorded. He said right when he met her, he he thought it was a little fishy. He's like, all right, I'm gonna record every conversation we have. So it's all the recordings and talks, dude. She 100% killed him. 100%. Watch this thing. Really? Like, oh shit. Yeah. And this guy, they they go into this guy's background, like how much of a stand up dude he is. And he doesn't want to be interviewed and stuff but like that. But was this. it a trauma or was it a documentary? The problem is if it was fiction, then I'm going to have a problem. No, it's not fiction. No, the, it, they, they're playing the actual. Yeah, then yeah. that's a doc. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a documentary. And, and it's the actual investigator talking to Jeez. the camera. And then they go into, you know, talking to Courtney, the recorded conversations. The only thing is and I then they have Kurt's closest friends. And they have the news clippings of like Kurt tried to kill himself. Nope, not true, not at all. He fucked up, and uh, they said he took sixty uh, pills and overdosed in uh, Italy. They went to the Italian doctor. And he's like, no, that didn't happen at all. He took this, and it was a mix. But he, he definitely wasn't trying to kill himself. But wouldn't they be able to tell that he had powder burns on his hands because he did kill himself with a shotgun? Put it in his mouth. What do you mean? This is a tough go, go, by the way, with killing, shooting yourself with a shotgun. Yeah. It's not that common. Well, they, they, that's no. the, they, they interviewed his, his uh, best friends. And they're like, no, no, no. And they have multiple interviews where Kurt's saying he's like, you know. Where did you see it? Where is it? Where? It just came out. You saw it in theaters or a screen? No, I uh, uh, got it on my laptop. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you, just, if you just Google uh, soaked in bleach. I'm Let's watching uh, Fed Up right now. Have you seen Fed Up? Yes. It's mm -hmm. a good documentary. Yeah. Have you seen them? I'm a documentary uh, whore. Have you seen Imposter? Imposter. No. No. Nope. What's uh, that about? It's this guy who um, he has a, a personality disorder where he always wants to be someone else. Mm -hmm. And he has a whole history of it. And he, I forget where he lives, France, some shit like that. And he goes online and sees his family in Texas is missing their nine-year-old child from 10 years ago. So he looks what the kid has, you know, hair, dyes his hair, everything, <laughs> pretends to be a cop in France, calls the family, goes, I think we found your son. Oh, no. You should what? come get him. They come get him. The mom comes and gets him, <gasps> and she actually thinks it's him. They bring him back to the States. No. He lives in the States. What? But then it, it comes out, spoiler, it comes out that they think the family killed the son. 
and they were just they didn't want it to seem obvious, so they brought him back. But they knew Dude. damn well this wasn't the son because everyone else was like, "That's not him." What? That's, That's a movie a, right there. Oh, like, the imposter! It's dope. Also, imposter. is it on Netflix? Is it Netflix? Like, I gotta watch that. Oh, this one! You're like, uh, you're like, what? Because I'm like, how the? Because they, they ha- and they have all the footage. The kid getting off the plane with the mom. She's hugging him. Oh my the whole god! Family. But then some so of the family's crazy. like, what? What happened? Like, to some you? people come What's over. Up like, with you right now? What's up with you right now? Yeah. People do the weirdest thing. How about this guy who printed out two hundred and fifty million dollars yeah. in counterfeit bills and twenty dollar counterfeit bills? Yeah. And did it all with stuff he just ordered off the internet. It's crazy. And, un- and started paying some. Yeah. He, and, That's awesome. and, and started and selling. How about this? How about That's this? Awesome. Started selling. How about this? That's dope. They caught him, and he goes, "Look, man, I have two hundred and fifty million dollars of this stuff. It can go right back in the circulation, or you can just." I'll give it to you. Plea you deal? Can give me. Yeah. yeah. He did a month and a half in jail. Yeah. Tight move. I yeah. know. Yeah. It was gangster move. And he said the reason he did. I'm a fan. I mean, he did it to make money, but he's a Canadian. He was like, it was just to say fuck you to the U.S. government. Dude, that's dope. <laughs> yeah, I ever tell you the time? <laughs> I want him as a friend. <laughs> How about this? I know. How about this? I'm with I'm with a bunch of my idiot friends, and uh, this is in uh, Washington D.C. And they're all talking. They go, "Come over here." I go, "I know." So he's got some paper, and I go, mm-hmm. "What does that mean?" He goes. And he he goes into this pitch to me about how he can make counterfeit hundred dollar bills. Were you dressed like this at the time? Nope. Okay. I sure wasn't. I sure okay. wasn't. Because that makes sense. I sure wasn't. And I'm looking around at these idiots, and he was dead serious, and they were all dead serious about printing counterfeit hundred dollar bills. It's a good idea. It's a good move. Right. And I went. Oh I went. God. Oh. I go. Oh. Are we? Is this the mafia? They were dead serious. He had the printers and everything. I go. I go, Dude, I go this guy's you, though. This is a federal crime that you'll go to jail for for fifteen fucking years. Is yeah. it fifteen years? See ya. Yeah. Easy. This this guys they said were amazing though. They oh, the, the guy that they caught shit. was oh, yeah. was really Because most stores good. don't mess. Whenever you give them a hundred or twenty, they look they at it, like, right? Dude, yeah. I was in when the I was twenties. They don't with a hundred. They do. With twenties, they do. They I was do in San, I was in San yeah. Francisco. It's the most at, counterfeited uh, bill now. Twenties is the twenties. Yeah, dude. When I was in San Francisco, I was waiting in line. Right, Mrs. Fields. I love cookie cups. Mm. It's a cheat day. I'm sitting there. Line. It's hot. Lines long as fuck. The lady in front of me gives her this. Uh, I think it was a twenty or a fifty. I forget. But the it was an Asian lady working the counter. She's holding it up. She's like going like this forever. I'm like, God, for fuck's sakes, hurry up. No one has fucking fake bills anymore. She's like, just a second. Comes out, gets a machine out. Yep. Does this thing, puts a drop on it. She's like, oh, this is fake. Call security. It's taking forever. I go, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. I'm just trying to get my fucking cookie cup. I was like, I'll, whatever she ordered, I'll pay for it. Just leave it. I felt bad for her. Yeah, yeah. Like she, you could tell she didn't have a lot. I'm like, whatever she ordered, I'll pay for it. Just we'll figure it out. And then I'm like, Here's my card. She was seventy seven ninety eight. I'm like, God damn! <laughs> what the fuck did you? How get? many cookies did you get? <laughs> she got one of those big ass cookie like pies, and then a shitload of drinks, coffees. I was like, oh, okay. So for that one cookie cup and that lady's freedom, cost me about eighty bucks. That's, that's like yesterday when I. Oh, and she just goes like this. Appreciate it. Oh God! Really? That's what? it. That's the problem. I want to take my cookie cup. Yeah. I'm like, hey, bitch! Yeah, uh. Smash it. <laughs> Fucking fraud. Pre- appreciate your eighty bucks, dude. I swear. Seventy. Thanks, I never forget this. Uh, Seventy-seven, whatever, eighty-one. I was like, "Oh my god!" How about yesterday Fuck, when I gave your, that? Did you get a gold cookie? Oh, that's so hilarious. The, yesterday when I gave that woman our par- my parking space, she she like takes my parking space because she didn't know I was waiting. Mm-hmm. And then I, what am I gonna do? Kick her out? I was like, I get in. Then I go, no, nah, I gotta give it to her. I go, you can take it. Meanwhile, there's no parking. This is spaces. beach parking. It's there's packed. No yeah, park. yeah. We finally like, find one. It. No, Brian's. <laughs> First of all, Brian's backing in, and I'm like, oh, for sure, just keep going. He goes, that lady behind us in the Fiat wants to get in there. I go, cool, we got here first. Yeah. He goes, it's a woman, man. I got to do it. Right away, I went, oh, for 100% she's attractive. You're not giving her the spot. I look, she's pretty attractive. Yeah, yeah, so sure. Brian goes, sorry for that. You're going to have the spot. I'm like, what the fuck are she's you She's like, doing? thank you. You're he very sweet. He can't help sweet. himself, you know. He can't help You're very man. sweet. And she yeah. goes, oh, my God, you're Brian Callen. I was like, yeah. She goes, I love your work. And that never I was like, happened. I can't. I'm married. I'm married. That never happened. She, I love she your work. Like that. Love your work. She goes, yeah. Is that your bodyguard? Did you audition for that Hanes commercial a few years back? (laughs) (laughs) Damn it. So ridiculous. I wish you got that. (laughs) I know, I know. How about when we were doing that photo shoot yesterday? With the those little the older brother and uh, his younger brother, yeah, I got choked up a little bit, man. That's the first. You really did. I did. I you know what's funny? There's a 13 year old and 8 year old, and they were brothers, and they were playing football on the beach, and Brendan kept looking over, just going, "That's what I used to do with my brother." 
Man, that's so great. Some of the best times of your life. And then you were talking about the kid. He plays football. Yeah. What, what was moving to you about I wanted that? to help him. Imagine yeah. when I have kids. I don't know. He's like, oh, we live right here, man. We live right up there. And he's all just super excited to start football. Mm -hmm. Just him and his brother. And yep. he was taking care of his little brother. Yep. Well, when around us, he's taking care of him. And then when it's just him, he was like my brother. He's real mean to him. He's like throwing him on the ground and shit, just like my brother. Yeah, I was like, yeah. all right, well, I get that. You identify. You yeah. you have an older brother? Yeah. He used to mess you up. Oh, my God. Really? That messed me up. Be an understatement. You're talking about a kid who uh, took a, a bat to my head. Gave me what? stitches. We had to go to therapy for it. He took a uh, golf club and took it to the back of my knees at a family barbecue. <laughs> I'm like, yo, check out that butterfly. Oh, my God. And my brother's like, fuck your butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, he, you ever seen, uh, what's that movie with Macaulay Culkin, the, the Godchild? Yeah, yeah. That was my brother. We had to go to uh, anger management. But Is he locked up now? Yeah, he's actually doing a uh, thirty to 50. thirty. Yeah, no. he's wow. locked up for life. Okay. Yeah, he runs that shit though. Jesus. Name's Aaron Hernandez. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, man, we had to go to therapy, and even back then, I had a mouthpiece on me because they bring us to therapy, and me and my brother would fuck with each other. Yeah. But if you called us out, we teamed up and sure. destroy you, right? <laughs> sure. So my dad, brings, Shaw brothers. Oh, my dad brings to this therapist. <laughs> Dude, he looks just like you think. Bald shit here, out here, right? Uh -huh. Looks like an old bird. Glasses on. And he sits down on the couch, and my brother's like, so fucking stupid. I'm like, God, this is lame. So the guy's like, now, fellas, is there a reason you don't like each other? My brother's like, we like each other. We just disagree and beat each other up. And then I'm like, hold on, hold on. Little. Remember, little. I go, let me ask you something. Do you have brothers and sisters? He goes, yeah, I do. I go, how many do you have? He goes, three. I go, did you ever fight with them? And he goes, uh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty normal we fight. And I go, did your parents take you to a therapist because you fought with them? He's like, well, no. And I'm like, this is stupid then. And then my dad, I just remember looking at me like, here's a legit point. My dad was like, let's get the fuck out of here. Really? See That's you. the way it is. Yep. You, like, you know what's funny you. about seeing those those kids last, yesterday? We lo we just loved them because they helped us with a photo shoot and they were playing football. And, and Brennan's all literally getting misty-eyed watching these two brothers. And they, happen, they they both happen to be black. And when they ran away, me and the photographer and Brennan were talking. We were like, <laughs> we got sent them. We were like, look at those great kids, man. I can't believe people are prejudiced. What a terrible world. It pissed me off. Yeah, we went into this whole like social justice, you know, thing about how can anybody be prejudiced? <laughs> and, you know, it was just, yeah. We well, they're not going to be like that cute forever. You know that. <laughs> you know that, right? Tom, like, that's everything. Yeah. God damn it, Tom. Why do you have to ruin everything? <laughs> <laughs> we got we got all social justice and everything just because we were playing with two kids. Dude, Dude I want to. brother wrecked you. Bats and golf clubs? Right. Oh, we'd be playing video games. He had such an anger issue. We'd play video games, and I was always really good at video games way better than him still this day <coughs> and if if you he, gotta say it right if, yeah. if he if i won he'd beat me up he'd drop the control and just whoop my ass so i'm like <laughs> oh crazy you won again last second and just like let him so win they definitely favorite. contributed to you being a probably a more competitive athlete right more com number. more competitive yeah but i'm not violent in the least bit is like, he, I, is I he an athlete too fight. he was an athlete to like ninth grade he was always really good but um he just he had zero discipline how he, much older is he two years so, so when did you get to a point where you could beat his ass? I whooped his ass when I was like nine. I just went fucking ham. Like I said, it takes a lot. And my dad had to like pull me off. It was the, my record against him is like one in 5,000. But really? what, about, oh, yeah. what about once you're in high school, though? Are we you... never got in fights then. Oh, but it was over by then? Uh, well, my parents got divorced. Thanks for bringing this up, Tom. Jesus. My parents got divorced, and I lived with my dad, and he lived with my mom. So we'd cross some oh. paths, but we didn't. But we same did, we city, fight a lot. like you were. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. yeah Aurora. But uh, oh, so you didn't really live together? No, uh, we did and we didn't. Like I would, I we'd go back and forth, and it came to a point where he was just with my mom, was just with my dad in mm. high school. And then I remember, I think I was in eighth grade, and he was in uh, ninth or tenth grade, and he had this girlfriend I didn't like. I don't know if I've told this story or not. And uh, she was an African American woman, mm -hmm. and she—that's why you didn't like her. Nope. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Come on, damn, man. I'm but damn it, Tommy. But, she, but you she, keep looking for the racist. I don't know if I've told you the story. Or I've, maybe I've told it before, but you haven't heard it, Tom. So she had these big lips, and yeah. she always used to put uh, lip balm on, like uh, gloss. Okay. Like lip gloss, right? Okay. okay. She, she used to put them on all the time. Like uh -huh. that was her thing. This lip gloss. Sure. Yeah. She was. She was so mean to me, right? So her and my brother, they're they're going because <clears> she was up. attracted to you. No, she was just fucking mean because okay. they whatever he'd probably trying to get jacked off and I'm like oh video games you know I was younger right, right. so they're like beat it nerd so she left him and uh, her and my brother left at Seven Eleven 
And she left her uh, makeup kit on oh. the counter. And I was like, oh, hell yeah. I fucking hate this girl. <clears throat> Took out half the lip gloss, pissed in it, shook it up, put it back. Well, she puts on so much. I didn't think I was still going to be in the house by the time she put it on. I'm like upstairs playing video games or whatever, watching fucking, I think it was Goof Troop at the time. And uh, I just hear, oh, hell no. And I was like, oh, fuck. Wait, Tom, do do what she said. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. I remember hearing that. And then I, was, I laced up my shoes and just went, run out the door. <laughs> Just, just fucking off. booked, man. You I remember telling my brother something like, How, "How's my pee pee taste?" Something like that. Just <laughs> ultimate little. Did you brother brother around a lot after that? I imagine. Nah, that. no, it was, it, it, they started to die oh, down after hell that. No. After you, after you taste your brother's piss, you can't really kind yeah. of still date the girl. The yeah. ultimate pee pee test. That's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. What can you do, man? What else did she say, Tom? <laughs> man, it tastes all fucked up right now. How do you know she speaks? Man, that this way? tastes like piss. <laughs> Well, that's, that's, well, that's how sound, she talked. You though. sound southern as shit, man. This tastes like piss. Well, this tastes like piss. Oh, this tastes. No, like this tastes like piss. Still sounds southern. still southern. Yeah. still southern. What do you southern. think? Southern but accurate. Yeah, yeah, thanks, man. Tom, you're really good at. I didn't know you could play a black man and black woman. Do you do any other characters? Uh, uh, that's it. Oh, <laughs> just good. Just the one. Good. Should we go some current events, Ev? Yep, let's do it. Outrageous. I know it's ridiculous, isn't it? First current event. Tomorrow. Well, Ev works out too, huh? Oh, he's got a great, he's got a <laughs> great Jesus. body. Yeah, you're not mad that V neck. No, hairy not chest. Oh. Everyone here yeah. likes to stroke the weights. Dude. <laughs> Sorry, bro. <laughs> Couldn't think of a better term. <laughs> stroke the stroke. weights. <laughs> I don't stroke. I was just going with it. It's I was just like, got yeah. creepy. Right now, you stroke the weights. Everybody here likes to I'm working out stroke tomorrow. the weights. I'm going to show up and go, we're stroking weights today, guys. Brennan ran out of words. <laughs> he just ran out of words. Ran, no, no. Everybody here likes to st- stroke the weights. Huh? That's right. I go to the gym and I stroke the shit out of him. Hey, bro, you trying to stroke that bench today? <laughs> right on. Right on, right on. Fellas, stroke weights. Here we go. <laughs> Everyone, get your weights and stroke them. Stroke. It stroke. feels kind of right, though. I kind of, I could stroke see. Stroke the weight. You're stroking yeah, the weight. Yeah, I get it. It doesn't, it doesn't not make sense. No, you're right. Stroke my wife. Stroke, stroke this day. What are you doing, dude? Stroking. Stroking, yeah. man. Current Ooh, event. I got such a good stroke today. All right, go. All right, first current event tomorrow night. Huge fight. We've all been waiting so long for this. Kimbo Slice versus Kevin Shamrock. I'll tell you what. I'm going to watch it. It's free, right? Or is it pay-per-view? Free. On Spike. I will 100% watch that. What you call There's some that? other good fights on there, too. And I think... Chandler's fighting. Um, I can't remember who he's fighting. I feel like there's some decent fights on there. They have like three mm. title fights on that card. That's awesome. Free card, too. And uh, I think Phil Davis is going to announce who he's fighting tomorrow night. Oh, really? And uh, Is he still UFC? No, yeah. he signed with Bellator. Oh. He said, see ya, this Reebok deal. He went and signed with Bellator. Wow. Will you watch it, B? Well, with the Kimbo Slice, Ken Shamrock, only if it's on my TV as I walk by. <laughs> it makes sense. Well, it's hard for you to watch fights anyways. No, I love watching fights if they're good fights. I, I just, th- for this, this feels like, I think Ken Shamrock's going to beat him. He's oh, you want to bet? Yeah, he'll beat him wrestling. How, you, how much you want to bet? He'll submit him. You should put something down on this. Yeah, let's put some money down. Oh, 100%. It. Oh, I'd love to bet you on this. You want to bet? Uh, wait, we go to San Francisco next week. Yeah. You want to bet uh, dinner anywhere? Yeah. Winner picks? Yeah. Deal. Shake Deal. It. I got Kimbo. You, you got, got Ken. Kimbo? Well, if you're taking Ken, oh, I have I've to got take 100% Kimbo. Uh, Ken Shamrock at 51 years old. <laughs> How old is uh? Kimbo? How old is Shamrock? 51. No. It might even be 52. Really? Yeah, and when they said, you know, you're old, he said, I thought we were over this by now. I mean, I thought if we're not over, like, aren't we over, like, racism, and now we're still racist? I was like, well, that's not being racist, Ken. It just means you're older. I love his – you can tell, like, they have, like, those countdowns. I watched on uh, Bellator or on Spike when they had, like, the face-off. Ken Shamrock's just so old school. You can tell the actual shit talks skin to him. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm going to fucking kill you, like, dead serious. And Kimbo's like, Jesus, man, like, chill. Yeah, my money would be on him too, by the way, though. On Ken? Shamrock, yeah. Shamrock? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if he gets him to the ground, it's over. For yeah, sure. he's just too good at I mean, wrestling. over, if over. It's a, if we're talking about throwing haymakers, I think Kimbo lands one. Oh, yeah. But Ken's um, got good defense. He'll keep his hands up. If you're in Kimbo's corner, we'd be like, hands up, dog! <clears throat> hey, that's cricket right there! Yeah. That's <laughs> what? <laughs> that's cricket right there. It's cricket right Why did you say cricket? It's just a line from my I head. don't know, dude. You're just coming up with these things. I don't know if that's what they'd say from his corner. What else would he say? 305! 
after a bomb. Run, motherfucker. Hey, Run. Dade County. Come on, Kimbo. Like that. Just, what is, what Do was, it for Miami, man. What, Do it for the Grim. Liberty City, Orange Bowl. But, Don't touch me, white boy. Okay, now hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Sir, why did you scream 305? It's the it's area code of Miami. Miami. Oh, that's right. God are you not it. fucking here? What are you sorry, doing? Sorry, brother. Sorry. Are you, are you know, still in your Scottish audition? You sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry, that's good. Are you still talking about that Scottish audition Wait, that you bombed? Ken Shamrock has got Kimbo on, on the ground. Now what are you going to say? Ken, oh. Oh, I'm in the corner? Yeah. Don't let it happen, man. <laughs> he white. He white. No, nah, man. Don't let that white devil get you. That's, that's the beast. Saying. The beast coming for you, man. That's that's that. There's people alarmed outside right now. Sure. It's such. They're a, like they have Kimbo Slice Cornerman in there shopping. Corner, yeah. Cornerman's in there before the big fight. Yeah. Again, he's in law school, but he, Luke, Luke here. Holla back, yeah, yeah. Like that. Ribs on me if you get up. Ribs on me. Wait now, that, that, sir. That's, too much. that's insanely. That's too much. Why? Like Kimbo's it's a simply guy. too much. Everybody Why? He likes ribs. Sauce, he? We got cornbread in the back. You win this motherfucker. Brenda, you saw the line and you, you, you went you over the line. You had to go over the line. Cornbread and ribs. But they tell me the same thing. I understand. They, I love cornbread. I know, but. What's wrong here? I just feel like the you show's going to be canceled but now. not break, you know? Okay, I'm learning, man. I'm yeah. trying to, you know, I'm learning. I mean, he was just saying 305 and. And I said, we got ribs in the back. Hey, man, we got cool <laughs> in the back. Right. <laughs> Don't say cool <laughs> Can't do that. This is outrageous, and I am personally outraged. Why? You're not outraged. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not. But I who just doesn't, doesn't love Kool Aid? Why is that gonna be a racist it, thing? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Then racist. Why did you start laughing. I mean, don't say that other things. Don't right. say other things. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they have to filter me because I'll just go wild. Wait, do you guys do? Nobody I've hears that. Really, I've sat because I'm friends with Joe right there at the ring, right yeah. at the octagon. Um, I've seen guys smile and shit at each other, like, you know, taunt. But you guys, I've never heard, like, is, when you're on the ground, do people still talk shit? Or no? Yeah, when I fought uh, LeVar Johnson, giant black guy, yeah. he was like, yo, dog, why don't we get up and bang? What, let me up so we can bang. Oh, really? Give As him you? a show. Oh, and sure. I'm like, okay, for sure. How about you learn jiu-jitsu? <laughs> right. He's like, that's fucked up, dog. That's fucked up. I was like, whatever. That'd be a great reason to let somebody up. Well, he said we weren't fucked Yeah, no, no, he LeVar said Johnson bang. hits that hard. No, yeah. thanks. Yeah, uh, one of the... Best knockout artist. Oh, Ooh, Mufasa. Good All God. Right. Go. Good God. Cool. Well, enjoy. Yo, that. dog, we got Kool Aid. Well, see, I don't see why that's racist. Because when I was a kid, they did the same thing to me in recess. Why do they have to call him dog? And why have to. That's a normal term. We got other drinks, too, if you're thirsty. <laughs> we got Kool Aid. Like, what Power else? Aid. Got water. It's the best for your system, man. Yo, I told you to drink that's water. That's better. Now you on the ground. That's Better and I don't like What's your black guy. I think Why? your black guy is racist, and I think your black How guy is, is better. You gotta hydrate, man. See, I told your ass before we went out here, sipping all that Kool Aid. Switch up to water. Okay, I don't. Can you not do that guy anymore? I don't. Get I just want to stick with Tom because I don't like What's your guy. What's wrong with mine? Because I feel like your guy is very offensive for no reason. My guy's fun. No, I don't like that he's What's sipping on Kool Aid. Shouldn't drink his... coffee. He's a diuretic. You're going to sweat too much. See, now that guy knows he's using words like diuretic, and he's got good sound advice. Your guy is... You know you can get a sugar overload. Mm, Kidneys better. don't work overtime, man. You don't need that right now. It's hot. That's better. I like this. So can you keep going with... But I want this guy to have some tangible, intelligent advice. I don't. Mean, I think I'm giving it. Yeah, you are. Yeah. Now give me life advice. I told you your chain would get in the way on the ground. He's not wearing a chain. See, now you're going back to the idea that he wouldn't Kimbo wear a always chain. Wears his not chain. when he's fighting. Well, he need to go after your passion, man. Whatever you feel the most about in life, that's how you're gonna be successful. Chase your own happiness, dog. Okay, well, that's but you're, too getting much you're getting really general. You're getting, too much you're getting general. I want more specifics, and I want intelligent specifics. Let's get this paper, homie. Get up and get this paper, no, dog. No, no. See. Money and paper. Stop making him so ghetto. Your guy's so ghetto. His guy is not. I want paper, money. I want say That's something. Like say something positive. You gotta feed the kids, man. Kids are hungry out there. Well, that's racist. So right. all of them have kids. No, he said kids in general. Yeah, the kids are hungry all over the world. But how is? Yo, he you gonna... got mouse to feed, son. He's fighting Ken Shamrock. So how the fuck is he supposed to feed the kids as well? Take your victory money and buy food for kids, man. 
That's that's pretty. Take great. your victory money. Let's make it rain, motherfucker. <laughs> I am gonna I ask respectfully that you stop I doing your this. terrible impression of a stereotypical black guy. But what's everyone makes it rain in the club. I know, but I don't like your guy. I want to hear something like, "We're not gonna go to the club. We're getting real estate, man. You gotta diversify your funds and shit." There you go. Yeah. Now you're speaking. What's up with the Roth IRA? You need to look at retirement, Kimbo. You getting up there? See, that's what I'm talking about. That's way better. You shut up. No, get this money. Let's go buy some cars, fool. Jeez, that's what I would do. There goes our show. Sorry, man. Didn't you guys have a pitch? Cool. <laughs> you see what you did with your event? Was that a current and now, event? And now I'm getting fired too. You gave us a current event. <laughs> it was Kimbo versus Shamrock. <laughs> I'm just saying the advice that some people might give. Well, well, we did soften the blow by talking about how we did see those two wonderful black kids playing and how we were talking about dude, how shitty the world is. I was his corner guy and talking about investing for your future. And diversifying his portfolio. Yep. But uh, Tom or Black is the segment on your show. That's how we got onto it. Yep. On your mama's house. On your mom's house, not your mama's yeah, house. Yeah. Why does it have to be your mama's? See what happened? I just now I'm now well, I'm being now stereotypical. Your mom's house. Now it's you and your wife. Me right? and my wife. Yes. How long have you been married? Uh, six and a half. Almost. She's seven a comedian. Years. She's a comedian. Uh, She's a black Christina Pajitsky. She's a black it. comedian. No. 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 So. What, um, why you say it? What's wrong? What? Just, that was a joke. Okay. <laughs> uh, like no. I just want. No, she's white, dude. Come on. So, uh, she <laughs> don't say come on at the end of that. Like, like, okay. <laughs> yeah, Christina, um, she's at the Denver Improv this week. Go check her out. One of the funniest uh, she's female hilarious. comics. Um, you guys met on the road? We met in LA doing stand up. Rogan no. even was calling her. Rogan was even so far going so far as to say she might be the funniest female comic, period. Yeah, like, I would agree with that. Amy Schumer's going to disagree with you guys. Oh, no, no, no. Christine's, uh, Christina's, Christina's better than she's, Amy Schumer. She's awesome, man. Christina's, she, she's amazing. Um, she's hilarious. We're expecting now, by the way. Oh, oh. yeah. I didn't know that. Gotta get yep. that paper, son. Yeah, Little, know, right? no, no. <laughs> what is wrong with that? That's There's how I There's nothing talk. wrong. I'm, I'll be the, the judge here. That was totally clear. You're good. Thanks, man. All right, no problem. Uh, Evan, no problem, you, you Thanks, keep dude. a watch on this because this yeah. is getting carried. I gotta away. go race, uh, race watch. Gr girl, girl or guy? Or boy. boy or girl? We're having a boy. Damn, get it for little Brian. Yeah. Little Brian little, Callen little Segura. B -R -Y -A -N. Yep. <laughs> little B-R-Y-A-N. Little B-R-Y-A-N. Little Brian Callen Segura. Now, was it love at first sight? Yeah, we were, well, we were <laughs> doing, like, we were open micers. And when I, when I was introduced Grinding. to her, I was introduced to her, like, this is uh, Christina. She has a boyfriend. Like, that's, like, one of, the, one of those introductions. And I was like, oh, man. So, but, so we ended up being just, like, cool because we're always on the, these shows together. And back then, we would put on shows. So she would be like... Hey, I'm 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 putting on a show Friday at this place. You want to be honest? We were we were friends like that, and then I got a call from one of her friends one day, saying that like her and the boyfriend broke up. So then I swooped in, you know. I, You're big, woo -woo! Yeah. big bearded, woo -woo! big bearded man. You're a big hairy man. Yeah. You just slid on into them DMs. You're huh? the definition What's of up, a bear, girl? by the way. Um, yeah, I'm yeah, you're a bear. in the gay community, you'd be a bear. Now, oh, now, know. would you when she was married or when she had a boyfriend, would you guys flirt? Do you know there's little sparks there? Um, I was actually, I was always like, I always had like really respectful, honestly, of like when 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 somebody's like I'm with somebody, I was like, yeah, All right, cool. I was I was never trying to like oh, that's a damn yeah. yeah, I wasn't trying to do that, you no. know. So, but once <clears throat> I got the word, it was it fucking game on, on dude. You, yeah, for sure. And she was all about it though too, because she 100%. knew you were a good dude. Look yeah. at you guys now, killing yeah. it, killing it, making babies and stuff. Like a kid, yeah, be funny, right? Dude, better have a funny bone. If he's not, what if he just comes in dead? Tie serious. him underneath his bed and leave him there. Please. Hey, man, yeah, that what? makes sense. Is that how you do it? No. Oh. So Next event, F. you're packing heat. Congratulations. Right. How many kids do you have? Moving on. Two. Seventeen. Seventeen. Well, I, I don't know how many kids I have. That but facial hair is crazy. One woman. I'm seeing it now at an angle. Officially. That is insane. Is What's cool, that? Man. You look like you know what you look like. What? One of those like Eastern European. Porno guys that bangs trannies, but yes. or transsexuals. The sorry, giant dick. Yeah, uh, yeah, and they're like he doesn't care. He's just like as long as it's getting sucked. Yeah. Sucks I'm, over. I'm pretty close. No, to that you guy. you look like the guys in Taken that take the girl into the sex. Yeah, slave but they do those pornos. Good luck. So, That's true. They do both. Yeah. She belongs to Good us luck. now, my friend. Yeah, she you gotta to us. thicken this one up a little bit. To, uh, I see it now. Yeah, you don't look Irish or Scottish. No, you, you do look like absolutely has multiple convictions. 100 percent yeah creepy catch a predator yes i like it sorry mm -hmm. thank you because yeah. guess, who, think, guess th who thinks it's sexy keely you're digging it keely are you lying for real yeah, I'm 
say Keanu I should, you, you kind of look like you kind of look like a like an old Chris Evans at the beginning of Captain America yeah. oh he does Oh. Hey, you really find this attractive? You look like you this is the most danger. attractive Keely's ever been to Brian. Yeah, Keely likes danger yeah. and creepy, and you I like love her for that. Guys like that with that look. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Keely and I. You guys have a Keely history. In trouble. You guys have history. I, I sense the chemistry. Oh, it's heavy. pretty strong. It's yeah. palpable. Heavy. It's yeah. strong. Yeah, look, especially when I dress like this and I talk like that. And now I need a couple of neck tattoos, and she'll be crazy for me. There you go. Well, how about? How about that head on this fucking body? Mm. Would you lose your mind? Yeah. <laughs> lose your mind? I can yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, moving, moving Go on. on now. My so voice is getting all t- t- Tell us how you'd combine all three of us into one Superman person for you. Yeah. Tell me more. Oh, that sounds, your, your that beard. sounds promising. <laughs> <laughs> the, oh, God. Oh, God <laughs> damn it. All right. We ready to move on? Go, yeah. man. Okay. We'll move on to the next current event. Gilbert Arenas lost his damn mind in a way that only Gilbert Arenas was. What? Really? So funny. Agent Zero? Agent Zero. We got to explain to Brian who this is. I have no idea who Gilbert Arenas is. He's a phenomenal tennis player. (laughs) Is he? Yeah. Gilbert Arenas? Does that sound like. Hello, US Open, French Open, Wimbledon. All all three. I think they call it the triple. Guillermo? He's kind of like a. He's kind of like a new uh, John um, McEnroe. McEnroe. But tan as shit. Temper. Wow. Does crazy they shit. They call him Agent yeah. Zero. Yeah. Oh, let me see. You call he's yourself a, a tennis player? He's got guns. Like he, he'll bring guns places yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Seriously. Really? Yeah. Whoa, he's, he's Italian? Where is he from? Uh, D.C., but like... Yeah. So he's American. <laughs> D.C., yeah. yeah. But like Italy, like, yeah. Italy the, the inspired. The Italian part of D.C. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Anyway, um, his girlfriend broke a couple windows at the house. Might have been acting up a little bit. Got to put that in check. She, she crossed sure. the line Chicken heads, man. when she threw his computer in the pool and his Netflix password is auto saved. And he specifically lost his mind about how he couldn't watch Netflix anymore. So he <laughs> took a cinder block and threw it through, her, the, threw it through the windshield of her car. Damn. Oh, shit. Sounds like you have a great relationship. <laughs> this is this is from Gilbert Arenas' Instagram. <laughs> When she toss your number, when she toss your computer monitor in the pool, you're like, hell, motherfucking nah! I don't remember my Netflix password. It was auto save. You piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he tweeted? TMZ. You take a person's Netflix away, nothing else matters. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Great, great. I like him commercial a lot. for Netflix. Jesus. Guys, uh, my special, Completely Normal, is on Netflix. Make sure you give it a shot. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, do it's funny as hell. Uh, that's crazy. Now, can we tell Thoughts? you who he is now? Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Tell me who he is. He's a he's a he's an NBA former NBA player. He's not in the league. I was thinking. No. I was like, no, how do not, I not know yeah. this tennis player? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> His name sounds tennis though. Right? Yeah. yeah. I was like, huh? But he was like one of he had one of the most promising careers. He got a huge contract. Great shooter. Yeah. Great shooter. Great player. Shooter. And then he brought he brought a gun to the locker room. Mm-hmm. Frowned like upon. Left Usually it like, that'd be a problem. He had a beef with like a, a teammate, like left it out on that guy's chair, like at his locker, as like a, a you know a message, and it took off into this crazy, crazy scandal where it was like you know you can't bring a gun <laughs> yeah. and threaten somebody with doing? a gun and this is murder. Like, this and is the NBA where like he was getting families are supposed too. to come watch games, and, and he was stuff. making bank. One of the great, and it, was that the last straw to get fired? From well, that it was er, downhill from st- there. It was downhill from there. Not a very stable guy. I don't think so. Phenomenal player. But I can relate on that Netflix password, man. Yeah. I forget it. I have it auto-saved on a few computers. Yeah, me too. I wonder what he was watching that he's so into. Probably some bullshit like uh, Games, the, of, Games of Thrones or some shit. Games at the end, he said, I like I like Netflix. Speaking of Netflix, has anyone seen Champs with Tyson's Holyfield and Hopkins? <laughs> he's all over the place. That's That might be, um, you know. That's classic. That man. might be some medicine that's missing right now on that. That's pretty... By the way, he lives in Calabasas, Brian. Uh oh. <laughs> Damn, that's rare. You see some shit. Get to like know your neighbors. A lot of athletes. A lot of athletes out in Calabasas. Really? A lot, why yes. do they choose? Why do they choose that area? It's clean have, and nice. You have you yeah, have, bigger houses. You have big. Yeah. Big houses and big. Good for kids. Live, Redondo. Oh, that's a dope area. I like Redondo. Where do you? You live around here. Marina. I like Redondo. Don't you love living near the water though? Yeah. Great, right? Oh yeah. Do you love Redondo? Love it. Yeah. Don't want to move. If you have kids. We're having oh, one. one that's right. We we, we started schools. To, well, we started to look, and then we, we were looking at uh, in the valley, and we went up. I was just like, I, I'm not doing it. You can't do it. I don't want to do it. Now, is it a beast? Because you guys are always in Hollywood, right, doing sets. 
So is there bees from Redondo? It there? is. It sucks. But, you know, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm so used to it now. It's just you know? normal, dude. Yeah, like Saturday I have a couple spots. I'll just leave, you know. I think the first show is at 8, so I'll hit the road. Are you on the road a lot? Yeah, I'm on the road a lot. Is your wife on the road a lot? Um, yeah, decent amount. I mean, she's going to wind it Not down. Not once you have this kid, girl. No, yeah, we're going to wind it down. But, but yeah, I, I'm on the road a lot. I travel a lot. <clears throat> Next event, Ev. All right, we'll wrap current events on this one. This is just weird. Uh, a Baltimore resident was left a note on their front yard. And here is that note. The city that reads. Yep, the city that reads. <laughs> Dear resident, your yard is becoming relentlessly gay. <laughs> Myself and others in the neighborhood ask you to tone it down. This is a Christian area and there are children. <laughs> Keep it up and I will be forced to call the police on you. Your kind need to have respect for God. Damn. A conservative what? Homeowner, your home kind? Owner. So this what does he person, have? Just hedges carved in, in the form of cocks? Just yeah, does he have dicks all over the lawn? What's nah, the, how, just, he has just, flamingos. He's got, pink he's flamingos got everywhere? Pink flamingos and dick hedges. It was, it's just some lights, some rainbow-colored lights. Oh, That's, come on. That's it? Yeah. Do you have a picture of it? It's this. Yeah, I'll yeah. be the your gay judge of this. Your yard is becoming it's, relentlessly it's gay. Oh, my God. God forbid. For lights. It's a Christian area. Yeah, I thought he was like using jizz as fertilizer. That sounds like yeah, something weird. No, pretty normal shit. It was uh, these like mason jars, these colorful mason jars. I can't really tell much more than this. Man, I don't mind it at all. I, I, I might put some on my. First of all, I like it. Up. Second of all, what are the cops gonna do? You can't. You're too gay. You got a bird, and you got some jars that are different colors. The cops aren't gonna do shit. The kids are gonna be. The kids are gonna walk by your yard and suddenly go. I think I'm attracted no. to the same sex. There's got to be like dicks in your yard for it to be like too much. You know? Yeah, actually, just and even then, I'll just be like, come on, man, dicks yeah. in the yard. Big I mean, mural. I get it. You, I like yeah. it. It's can you, funny. Can you put it in the backyard? Is there any way? Yeah. Big mur- like, murals well, of guys. You know. The story expands a little bit from here. She started a uh, a GoFundMe page. This is the complaining for, neighbor. No, the, for the person whose neighbor whose place got complained about. So the, the person with the relentlessly gay yard the started, gay, a gay person. started a GoFundMe started a GoFundMe because her goal was to make her yard even more relentlessly gay. <laughs> and so far she has earned or uh, drawn raised. up. Yeah, raised eighteen thousand dollars to be gayer. Oh, to so, be re- so, so to this, be relentlessly this is gayer. a woman. Yeah. Who, and so now that she got that warning, she's now making it. She's going, OK, OK, yeah. raised a bunch of money. Good. This thing's going to get extra. Gay. Just right. Uh, that good. I said for her. It. Gay pride. If if you need some security, I'll hang on. Have you had eighteen thousand dollars and your goal is to make your yard relentlessly gay? What would you do? I don't know. I guess I just have. I would have have, have hot dudes on the lawn. Yeah, I'd have (laughs) hot dudes. That's a good idea. Hot dudes in cages. Hot dudes in cages just banging the shit out of each other. I'd get an Edward Scissorhand type of dude, just just gay up them bushes, big old dicks. Just. I thought you could Edward Scissorhands guy with dicks on his fingers. Well, I'm not mad at that. Right? He's cutting the bushes as dicks. Yeah. Edward uh, Dick hands. Yeah. Just. And then other guys, like like five guys on each side, he's he's like finger fucking these five guys. Like, yeah, you know, to music. Dope. So, like, he's DJing. Hey, and man, just, that seems like And then they have really water hard. in their mouth, and it's like a fountain just. Yeah. Or you just have a bunch of guys who are just in uh, leather thongs dancing, yeah. dancing hard and Fisting true. Fisting each other in the yeah. Jack. Well, all right, guys, guys, no, like not this. no, guys. That's yeah. where you do have to draw the line because that would be uh, check out the exposure. human sprinkler. And he's just. Uh, well, you can't do yeah. anything. I like it. I like that a lot. Guys, you if can't you're gonna gay it up. You gotta go all the you way. You can't go. But well, that's indecent exposure and pornography. You get arrested for that. You have to ride the line. The, hey, you're the legal call the line. Cops. Why don't I? You know, cops are coming. Might you as well make it worth your time. You can just dance in a nice, in a nice tight testicle cinch, and just move <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, and it's gonna hurt. But keep moving your hips. What song? Though? And ooh, ooh. Yeah, any of those I songs like to go, move it, yeah, move it. Yeah, any of those songs. I like to ooh, move ooh. it, move it. I ooh, like to move it. Cocks are super aggressive. So what if you just had like. You had ten guys facing facing the house, so they're facing the house and yeah. they're bent over, and their assholes face the street, it's too much. and they're just holding their cheeks. You can't up and show like, the asshole. Eat, like get lunch. Like no. they're just. Here's what you do. Here's what you do. Please let eat me. Those do. ass like no, groceries. No, you have. Okay, I, I, okay. I guess I'll have to go into this. You have a pole, and in the middle of the pole, there's a stage, nice. a little round, tiny stage. Yeah. Now, he, so he can hang on the pole and he can dance on the platform. Now, listen. He wears sweatpants. Yeah. He wears sweatpants, loose sweatpants, no underwear underneath. 
he gets himself somewhat, he gets himself a chubby. So you, you, see, you see there's some action going on. He ties on, off right. the base. Mm -hmm. When you tie off of the base, you I like keep where this that is chub. Going. Right. So now, now nobody can prove anything. I just have this crazy dong. I just got a fat dick. You can see, yep. you can see the outline. And now you're dancing, right. and you see the outline of your dong. And no one can prove banging anything. Banging against that. <laughs> my that favorite hit, part. Nobody can prove anything. <laughs> you can't prove shit. Hey, just, hey, what's going bro. on with this guy's dick? I mean. Just the way I'm built, bro. Okay. Sorry, officer. Fat dick. Can't find underwear. We can't Bang. prove anything. Yeah, it's not It's not my fault that all my underwear is dirty. Didn't do a laundry this week, and I just got this crazy rod banging against. Crazy rod. Just banging. Just, just, just stretching. Just you keep testing. seeing the outline tenting. of it. Yeah. It's tenting. We call it tenting. In the trade, we call it tenting. In the trade. He's tenting. Tenting my, tenting my, my cheap sweats, my thin. What, super what do you cheap say, sweats. officer? What are you gonna put me away? Huh? You gonna put me away from a giant dick? For tying off? Call it tying off. He won't even know what you're talking about. Tying off? What are you talking about? I tied off at the base. Big deal. Boom. boom. Ooh, ooh. Now what are you gonna do? There's no law that says you're arrested for tying off at the base and dancing on your own. Otherwise, we're property. all going to jail. Right? Right? right, right, right guys? Right, right. Am I right? Huh? Wait a minute. So we're Brendan? Ten to, you don't tie off at the ten base to here. Oh, that thing is so I'll purple. do my time. I'll do that. my time. Oh, that thing. No. <laughs> I'll do my Man, bro, that thing looks like, that thing is per Kool-Aid purple. What's be going honest, on? Be honest. Oh. What are you working with? What do you got down there? Eight inches. Jeez. Uh, that's a lie, probably. But anyway. That's a lie, But anyway, it doesn't matter. I've probably, seen yours. Probably 100% that's a lie. Brian's packing some heat. I've You've seen, seen his. It. When? When have you seen mine? I've when have I not seen it? True. When we uh, actually a anyone we were, that knows Brian has seen it. Has seen when it. we were in Toronto, you went on. Remember, they opened. We opened the door backstage, and you were naked with your oh! face covered. Yeah. Yes, I yeah. did. Joe yeah. Rogan. I covered my eyes, and and I was completely naked, and they opened, and I was, and I showed the the entire Second City audience my piece. Yep. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Right now did. are you working with something? No, it's it's very unimpressive. Yeah. You're a bear of a man, though. I mean, I can give it to you hard if that's what you're asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's nothing like. But you're a bear of a man. You're a bear of a man. You it's probably. It's definitely a grower too. I mean, it is. It is nothing. You got a tater that. tot, but then yeah. it wakes. But you up. also don't yeah. do any la manscaping yeah, down there, do you? That. You well, don't you got do a bush. No, no, no. I mean, I keep it. You know. You keep I, it. All right. I don't keep it like perfect. Uh, it gets. You out don't of want control. it perfect. No, it gets out of control sometimes. And yeah, then, you, got, you, know, you get busy. Yeah, but I take. I mean, I take a razor to like my bag. And like, uh, oh really? Oh yeah. What? To your bag. Ow. Yeah. Why do you keep it so? Why do you keep the bag so smooth? Bro? Yeah. Why like are you doing it. that? It's just something yeah. I'm into. Because like you're it. a hairy guy. <laughs> <laughs> you got a hairy chest. You got a, like a lot of beard going on. Yeah. But your bag, got your bag is like oh, beard. Your dish. bag is so saddle, soft. saddle, saddle smooth. So soft. Saddle leather smooth. Saddle leather smooth. Because I don't get to shave anywhere else really, so I really make it part of my routine. Yeah, you're a very hairy man. So yeah. You'll take it. You'll and take I shave the shaft. You shave the shaft too, right? You don't let hair. I don't really have a lot of hair on my shaft. I don't have hairs on my shaft at all. Nah. Wait till you guys hit puberty. You're gonna get <laughs> hairs on your shaft. I, sure. I you have like big ass. You, so you got like a big old. Your, your dick looks like a uh, werewolf's thumb. <laughs> it's not, yeah. Again, not, not a yeah. werewolf, but a werewolf's yeah. thumb. Looks yeah. like his thumb. Yeah, yeah. I grow, I grow hair on the sides. Yeah. On yeah. the side. Yeah, I wow. have to like. Hold your it dick go, has sideburns. Is what I have you're to saying. like. I have to hold it and go. <laughs> Poor, I just yeah. feel so bad for girls. Like girls yeah. have to deal with all that stuff. Just a big hairy. Knob. And you don't realize that they basically girls will take you. However you I are, know. like I'm this fucking pig. Like, I All right. know. But then the guys were like, dingleberries and everything. Oh, deal you got hair here. Deal what the fuck's with that? I know. I know. Guys Dudes, girls savages. actually don't even mind. Guys can have hair all over their bodies. They just got dingleberries. They smell like soup. It's Fuck it. weird, huh? I know. Girls yeah. like I like when they, when you're dirty and and sweaty. Who are we you talking do? to when the girls like? Awesome. Asa Akira. Oh, she that's goes, right. She loves a hairy, star. dirty man. The porno star. She Asa likes them dirty. She was like, I just like when they smell like bo, like they've been working out. I was like, I know oh, a lot of girls like that. Really? A really? lot. I don't know you know a lot of girls like that. Yeah, I've dated girls who like. When I would, after I was done working out, they were smelling me to make sure I smelled that. That's, I, that I, see, I don't get down with that. I keep no. shit Girls real clean it. and neat. And man, you like too. them real clean? One hundred percent. I Girly clean. Girl, I clean Girly the girl. shit out of my body. Yeah, me too, man. I go nuts. Ugh. What if she? If, have you had a girl that has a little bo? No, oh, oh yeah. I had uh, a girl oh, that yeah. didn't use deodorant and was taking these uh, medical, like uh, not medical, Ooh. but like n all natural pills. Yeah. So you go, oh no, you don't need deodorant. You can just take these pills. Uh -huh. I was like, look at me when I'm talking to you. Those aren't working. Yeah. She's like, how do you know? I'm like, because you smell like shit. It really? didn't last long. Yeah. It didn't last long. That's no. a problem. I don't like that. Good do you abstain are... leading up to fights? What do you mean? Do you not have sex? No, that's a myth. Uh, would you have sex the night before a fight? Um... Yeah, as, if, if, as long as I don't have to do any of the work, because I'm going to fuck up my legs. Okay. But that, it's a myth. 
Yeah. So yeah, you're fine then. 100%. And then yeah. do you get I do it just like normal. Do you get a a huge boost of testosterone like of like uh like kind of, you know, drive after a fight? I'm exhausted after a fight. So oh, emotionally. Okay. Yeah. emotionally. I don't yeah. want to do anything. Okay. I just want to so they can, get, they can I just polish it off. You're that yeah. way for yeah. 3 days after a fight. Yeah, like, I don't you're like really anything. mellow. You don't really yeah. like, like to talk. Uh-oh. You sleep a lot and everything after fights? And I just chill. I just want yeah. as normal as possible cuz it's so violent, it's so intense. Yeah. I want the exact opposite. Really in light I'm um, in point in my career where things violent in general I stay away from. Really? Mm-hmm. Like I really don't even like to talk fighting really. Unless really? it's another really educated person, mm-hmm. I really don't like to educated fight. in terms of like fighting. they know about they know fighting. The fighting. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Do you watch? Do you like boxing? Yeah, I I literally I don't miss a fight though. Did I you watch, watch that, every fight. You watch that Canelo fight? Yeah, oh yeah. Put on a clinic. Dude. Oh my god, Canelo with Kirkland, right? Yeah. Oh my god, that's the fight of the year. That's a great fight. That was a great. And now fight. they're talking about uh, Canelo Cotto or yeah, and, and um, Triple G. Triple G. He's just getting left out in the dust. Why Who, is Chir- Triple G? Nobody wants you to fight him. You think because no one wants, no to, wants fight to fight him. him, but he's also he hasn't fought for his resume. He's not. He hasn't fought anyone good. Right. But he's, he's, destro- he's destroyed. He is guys. really wrecking people, though. That's a fight. I've, I'd love to see I, him fight Canelo, Canelo. Triple G. What do you love? That's is the fight Triple G yeah, bigger than Canelo, or are they same weight class? Uh, yeah, I feel like he's because Triple no, G's almost five eleven. Big man. Yeah, he's big man. Canelo to fight Mayweather had to go through some shit. Canelo's a big boy. That'd be that's such a good fight. That's a good fight. That's the fucking fight. Yeah, I'd like to see that fight. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you like to talk comedy nonstop? No, it is the worst. And I and I'm with you. Like, most of the time, with a novice, with somebody who doesn't actually do it or know a lot, like really know the ins and outs, it's a it's a well, exhausting like the, conversation. The, I'm sure it happens with you because you're such a funny guy. But with Brian, whenever we hang out, like in a group or they try to be funny. Oh yeah. Like yeah. they try to the, we had a guy tell him I'm not making this up, a billionaire tell me and Brian knock knock jokes Jesus at dinner. Christ. Oh they I was love like, it. bro, what the fuck are you doing? Are you, is this material right now? Yeah. We'll have people like pitch Brian bits and shit. And you gotta be yeah. you try to be polite about it, right? Not yeah. anymore. Dude, no? it drives me. It makes crazy. Polite. It makes Nuts. me crazy. I wanna be like, dude, what, what are you doing? Yeah, they do what that. They do um guys around me act tough. Uh, oh, oh, right, right. Like, look at this fucking dork. I'm like, what are you doing, yeah. man? What's wrong? Although with I that? was saying to Brennan that when I walked down the street with him, I I suddenly noticed like in the reflection of windows, I'm my arms are flailed out a little wider than they should be. I feel oh, a little tough. Like a little more, yeah, because yeah, I'm like, you know what? I'm fucking Brennan can beat up anybody on this street, and I'm probably kind of tough just because I'm here. I mean, I'd imagine I'm probably tough too because I hang out with fighters. Yeah. It kind of, it kind of, you you kind of get a false sense of security. I, I can see. How, I mean, I I I get how, they, and I sometimes I'll forget the that I could be doing the same thing in a different, um, you know, in a different arena. In other words, like if if the guy was a fucking basketball player, I'd start bringing up games and uh, stuff. So I I forget. No, that, I get it. But it's it I is get it. it wears on you. But here's especially with the fucking jokes. Because they'll be like, "Do you ever hear the one?" And you're like, "And actually, the worst is when they lean in. Like sometimes oh, in person, they'll they'll lean into your Shit, face, brother. and you're like, Jesus, dude.' It's weird. And man. it's like, and it's one after another, and you finally got to be like, "All right, man. Like that was a. I got with, it. I got with, your whole fucking." With me and Brian, people who listen to the show, and we have a certain kind of vernacular, right? We have yeah. certain catchphrases. All s- they'll get around us, and then they start using it, but it's not. It doesn't work. Like, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not mad at that. I'm like, not mad at what, man? Yeah. What are you talking about? We just got oh, food. They don't know how nope. to do it. Right. For sure. It's like, no. <laughs> well, what's for sure though? They'll, we don't use it that way. There's lift that. your shield. <laughs> well, you just got your iced tea. Why are you saying lift your shield? Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're just shouting that in general. Guys, like, well, it's uh, like anything else. Like yesterday, you might remember I I had the audacity to say this boxing thing. I'm kind of getting. Yeah. Meanwhile, yesterday you've been doing, bo- you've been boxing, dude. But yeah, yeah, I work hard at it. I got in the ring with Wayne McCullough yesterday, who granted was a world champion. Yeah. Wayne, Wayne's a lot smaller. Are I you get sparring? In the ring. Yeah, dude. He puts a headgear on, and we start, and and I literally he didn't hit me hard. He doesn't hit me hard. It doesn't matter. But it's so frustrating to realize that I've been working so hard at this. He's teaching me. I can't fucking hit him. He hits me whenever he wants. He just taps me and he fucks me up. And every time I get close on him, he can he can sit there in a, in a thing and block my. And I just went. I went. Well, not only am I exhausted, I suck at boxing yeah. after all this time. You got to just know. Part of the, the what's good about that is just it keeps you really fucking humble. It does. I've been doing like, I've been doing it on and off for like two years now. Yeah, boxing stuff. And you still suck. Not I'm such garbage, yeah. but also like I have such appreciation for boxers, <laughs> uh, where I was in a class. 
where I was, they brought in an uh, Olympian, a junior Olympian, and they put in a 15 year old kid with him. And this 15 year old kid was tagging this, this junior Olympian who I'm was sure. like 19 or whatever. Yeah. And I was like, this 15 year old kid could fucking murder me. Like yeah. actually, actually kill me. Yeah. It's a, a sophomore in high school. I, I rolled with this guy the other, the other week. He was like, oh, I've been <laughs> trained for two weeks. He's a big in shape dude. Mm-hmm. He's, or he's been trained for two years. He's been taking all these privates. So we roll. Good luck. And I just, right? Yeah, He's course. dead serious. So we roll about 60%. And, you know, I do my thing. It's my, it's what I've been doing yeah. every day. You're never going to. a day yeah. for yeah. 10 years. It's like he was so discouraged. But he was so discouraged, I took offense to it. He's like, motherfucker. In the mm. locker room, like, God damn it. He's like, what am I doing? I'm Tell like, him to shut up. I was what? Like, huh? Huh? Well, yeah. how'd you think this was gonna go, <laughs> dude? I've been doing it for two weeks. What it's do you weird, think was gonna happen? Man. It's so weird to me. I was so. Here's how bad I am at boxing. <laughs> well, I feel like I'm gonna die like, after every workout during the workout. Oh my god! But um, I'm so used not used to like actual something like a punch being thrown at me that when the guy he goes like I'll punch with this and then you know yeah this slip. slip. So he's like this and I'm going <laughs> just. Yeah, like, like he's like, are you dancing? What the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, waiting for the punch. Like, I'm waiting for it, and I can't get over the anticipation of the punch. So I'm like, oh, dude. He's like, I made the mistake of thinking that because I can get into the ring with dudes who are not athletes and are like boxers, like the way I'm a boxer, that I can do all right. We should box. And then, and then, okay, we will. And then I get into, then you try it with a guy who, like Brendan, who's been doing it. Oh, well, Wayne's been doing it since he was seven. Yeah. And he obviously you can see everything you're doing way before you do it and yeah. for a thousand reasons and there's nothing you can do. Nothing you can but do. God damn it. And it's fr- God damn it. But it's, isn't it amazing? Like, uh, I think like it, most people who even enjoy this sport and watch it, if they were to do three minutes on a heavy bag, they would be like, I had no idea what I was watching. They was probably watching. won't boo anymore. Yeah, I know, right? I think everyone should have to train like a UFC fighter for a day. Well, I also think that it's <laughs> they such a it's fundamental... But 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 more importantly, get in the ring and just try to move around with a dude who's just moving around with you. Just moving and around. He'll hit right. you really lightly, like no big deal. But yeah. and then try to but hit you'll him. Know what's see up. how see how exhausting you get, and how vulnerable you are. Key, you got a creep line for us. Yeah. Ooh. So she does a creep line. It's kind of like love line, but fans send us creepy oh, okay. things they do. Oh okay. Well, last show she was like, she told us about a murder that's unsolved <laughs> and. Kind of fucked the whole show up. I have a heat for that on Twitter too, by the way. Did unsolved you? murder? Yeah, yeah that's all right. This seven-year-old <laughs> killed a three-year-old and pushed her in the pool. And he was wondering if she like tell his mom. Uh, <laughs> well, don't don't tell us about unsolved murders on the show. <laughs> that kind of goes beyond unsolved murder. That's a that's a whole other category. That's assault, bro. Yeah, that's yeah. um. It's not anyway. good. This is not like that at all. Okay. Is it so sexual in nature? They usually Hopefully. are. Yes. This Thankfully. Is. Thank God. Yes. God. Okay. Hopefully. So. My cousin is a high school custodian, and our other cousin is a student there. Okay? Mm -hmm. Got it? Mm -hmm. One's a janitor, one... Right. Yes. One day, her cheerleader friend pointed out the custodian and commented about Mm -hmm. him being creepy. My younger cousin didn't mention he was a family member, but asked her why she thought that way. Her friend said, this custodian always accidentally walks into the girls' locker room after school when the cheerleaders are going in changing for their practice. He's, yeah. he's creeping, yeah, for yeah. sure. But is that creepy or is that hot as shit? No, that's uh, creepy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry yeah. Super. I expect him to look like you. The janitor 100% <laughs> yeah. looks like uh, you. Guys, <laughs> just ladies, trying to clean up well, some pee pee stains, well, kids. Sorry, ladies. Uh, 100% that guy has that shirt, okay? <laughs> he's wearing the shirt. <laughs> he's got loose. a broom. And he's wearing and those this, sweatpants. This is just tied off. He's tied off. He's tied off. He's wearing the sweatpants. Sorry about my sweatpants. I have a dancing thing on on somebody's lawn pretty soon. I wait. I waited until it got about half, and that's I tied it off. Then he probably so, walks in and goes, "Don't worry, girls, I'm gay. I would never look." No, at he you probably guys comes in. And, Should I come back? Or you guys want me to stay? Yeah. You know, it's Just great for someone to give. It's him a shot. creepy, acceptable if they were adults, right? It's, you're like, if he like worked, at, I don't know, like a strip club somewhere. Twenty four hour fitness. Right, right. Then you'd be I'm like, cool that guy's that. a creep, but they're they're these girls are in high school. They're high school high cheerleaders. School. That's, that's creepy that's total shit. creep, man. That's You're, total creep. Dude, you don't realize how old you're getting when you see an actual high school kid. You're like, oh my God, they're, they're so young, young as fucking I tiny. I fan <laughs> questions, Evan. All right, fan question time. Way better creep line story, Kay. Thanks for no murders. That was good. That was good. Thanks, no thanks murders. for the l- lack of Keely. child death in yeah. this one. Yeah, we set the bar really low for what is a good creep Oof. line now. As long as we're not being <laughs> placed in the middle of an unsolved Yeah, your murder, cousin's a creep. Just so you know. Just, just be normal. Just be normal, creepy. 
All right, first one comes from Vanilla Face. Well, yeah, I know, I know. Speaking of racist, yeah, I mean, way to pick, way to pick the fan questions. Can you go Vanilla straight face. for the racist ones on this one too. All right, financial advice. I'm 22 and have 50 grand in the bank. What should I do with it? You want to be young, big brown? I bought cars. Bad, bad idea. Yeah. Didn't you just buy another car? I did. <laughs> I'm rich as shit now. Though. Are you rich as shit? I'm doing well. Really? I do well. Can we talk about it off the air? For sure. Okay. I would say 50 <laughs> grand. About how rich I am. 50 grand is something you sock away at 22. I mean, I, I, the well, only you thing. You don't think you should invest it? Yeah, I think you should invest it, but be damn careful about how you invest it. Dude. Well, real estate. Do you know a lot about real estate at 22? Probably 50 not. 50 grand is something you, you shit in real estate. You, you could buy a food truck. You can invest in a food truck. Do you know about food trucks? That's Stay in your lane. It's true. Don't listen to Brian on financial advice. Go to someone who knows what they're doing right. and have them invest your money in stocks and bonds. Yeah. Don't, I don't I, by the way, truck I don't know jacuzzis. what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, right? no shit. I'm a bad businessman. Food man. truck? I'm a bad businessman. The guy's like, buy, food, I don't know truck. Buy a bunch of candy wholesale. <laughs> <laughs> and then flip it. Flip it, dog. Uh, Tom, I don't know, Tom, if that's the best thing. Yeah, advice. Skittles, Taffy. No. Like, yeah, M&M's. Take boxes it's a diversified them. food portfolio. At least yeah. you're doing more than the one. But food like, truck. don't go half ass and buy like a grand. Buy fifty thousand dollars. Good in plenties. In, you know yeah. what? Buy 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 a bunch. Weathers. Of, buy every every show in advance that Tom Segura and Brian Callen are going to be doing. That's a really good idea. No, take your fifty grand and put all fifty on it. Go to Vegas and put on Kimbo Slice. <laughs> I actually completely agree with that. You do. You'll win. You Yo, think Kimbo's really? gonna Brandon, win? Brandon's getting a free dinner out of Hold this. Hold on, you got Kimbo? Hundred percent. Is that right? I say I think Kimbo wins. I think Kimbo I don't wins. I don't think it's a problem. I think all. I think Ken's got a lot of ways to make Kimbo tap if he gets it to the ground. I think I think Ken gets knocked out. I do really? too. I think he's gonna feel that power of Kimbo hook and like ooh. He's six two. Your man Kimbo's six two. Six two. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Six wow. two. I'm looking up six height. Foot. Looking up height, dog. Yeah. Anywho, anywho, he's six two, so he's like eight inches taller than you. <laughs> take take Tom, that fifty grand, man. Tom, damn it, right, you got to stay cash rich for this kid. Let's be honest. Keep your cash, man. Yeah, yeah. he shouldn't be investing that much. Like no. Fifty grand, you no. need your cash, dude. Where'd keep you it. get the fifty grand? First of all, hey, you're twenty two, kid. What are you been up yeah. to? I have you no know? idea where he keep until you come up with a he's good been idea. printing money. It's the guy who prints money. All right, go. Uh, this question is for Tom, and it is from Matt N twenty four twenty four. Would you let Burt Kreischer shave your back again? Oh, yeah, sure. And, and you tell, and Bert boys? tell Brendan and Brian yeah, the Bert's story. Yeah, one of my now. best friends. I yeah. love Burt. Burt's a great guy. I want to show we had great a great guy. time. There's a video on YouTube called Burt Shaves Tom. And, um, <laughs> You're both hairy. Yeah, I'm hairier. Well, for and sure. We were in Hawaii. You're denser. And, uh, yeah, and he shaved... He shaved my back with like a you know like a, a trimmer right, and then he was like, "Let me do, let me do your chest." And <laughs> That's I how was he like, talks. Yeah, I was like, let me do. Yeah. He's yeah. like, "No, it'll be more defined." And then he just made me look like I have even bigger tits, but he <laughs> shaved it horribly. And then it looks like uh, he laughs. It, uh, he you know he laughs like a maniac all the time. All the time. It's probably in the top three he's ever laughed in his life. And it's on video. So it, he looks like he's going to have that. a stroke. His face turns red. Uh, he's crying, like tears. Dude, when screaming. I went on his show at his house in his man cave, he was telling a story, and he was laughing so hard at his own story, oh, yeah. he couldn't get it out. And I was yeah. like, bro, I don't know the story. I don't laugh. Yeah. But I was, big I was laughing because he was laughing. Of course, that's what yeah. happens. He has that contagion. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, face yeah. red. Yeah, Tom, you're you're hairy. You are. What's your nationality? Segura is uh, Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. I thought it was Italian. No, a lot of people do. My dad is American, of like Spanish, French, Irish descent, like a mutt, but with a yep. Spanish last. And then my mom is 100 percent Peruvian. So oh, half Peruvian. And Peruvians yeah. aren't that hairy. No, I get it from my. It's got to be his side. Yeah. Sure. yeah, it's that European. Yeah, you look Afghani. Really? No. Yeah, a little bit. With these fucking powder blue eyes, right? What? Ooh, I didn't what? know they were powder blue, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Next question, if you did, I mean, it's weird. Uh, uh, this bit. one comes from DC ninety four. He wants to know uh, how much lifting weights to build muscle will affect um, his start in jujitsu. Guys, skinny, I'll take this one. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Real skinny guy trying to build muscle, but he wants to get started in jujitsu. Why wants to know how much it'll affect his weight gain and recovery? Yeah, I, I don't I don't know what his goals are. Is his goal to be a competitive at jujitsu? Is he trying to be a competitive jujitsu player? Then ditch the weight room. Stay in ditch the weight room. The, really? Yes. yes. What are you oh. gonna do? No, unless you're a 
solid black belt and can spend some more time in the gym, for sure, get your skills straight in the, on the mat. Forget the gym. Mm. Agreed. Is that it? Mm, yep, that's pretty much it. Oh, I mean, I completely agree with that one. Yeah, one we're more. On board. We'll do one more. When do we show our cocks? Are we do that. Is that <laughs> no, now? that's how we end the show. Oh, okay. That's okay. how we end the show, bro. It's called the dick off. All right, it's a I'm dick just off. trying to do a little fluffing. I'm the reigning champ right That's now. right. I'm the right. Callan has girth. His is fat. His is like an elephant trunk holding water. Uh -huh. I think yeah. more, more mine's like you ever seen that movie Tremors? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got it lots like one of, of those. It's got yeah, lots of, yeah wow. go. it's got lots of curves and bends in it. Yeah, when it comes out of the, it's got like real ashy. Like when yeah. it comes out of the ashy, uh, ashy. Huh. Yeah, you, you don't see a lot of ashy dicks these days. That's interesting. Well, then you haven't seen enough dicks, my friend. Okay, <laughs> go. Ahead. All right, we'll wrap on this one. This one's from Sean Casebolt. He wants to know who are all of your all-time favorite athletes in any sport. So pick your favorite sport, favorite athlete. Let's just time. go Ooh. one each. Yeah, one each. Tom. Hit it off. One one sport, one athlete. Pick your favorite athlete of all time. Um, Dang. I mean, I would probably honestly, I I think I'd have to stay with Dion. He's like one of my favorites Ooh, of all time. Yeah. Really, State. dude. Well, he's an FSU guy. That he was one of those guys that was is one of the few guys that could be so ridiculously cocky and talk ridiculous shit and fucking back it up all and you the still time. Loved him. Yeah, and you were like, and like. You know, he would be like, "I'm gonna take this punt back and take it back." I mean, it's it's insane. Like, and and and, and, and he would switch. He switched teams and won Super Bowls back to back at, as you're switching teams. It's it's crazy what he did. And he was also play, he played in a World Series game and an NFL game in the same week. That's so crazy. So that's insane. crazy, man. That's a, he's one of the top him and five Bo Jackson. Time. You know. A, Bo Jackson's also one of my all-time favorites for like for because I love for college, sure. and you know that guy doesn't get injured. It, all the books might be. Different. I agree, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, he was crazy. Uh, I love your picks. Those guys are definitely my top five. Uh, if I had to pick one, especially when I was a kid, uh, till now, I'd say Junior Seau. Junior oh, Seau. Yeah. Junior Seau. Yeah. Why? I Out know, of all the facts, I know I loved him when I was a kid. Still love him. Rest in peace. He uh, was for me. It's hands down oh. Muhammad Ali. What? It's so much fun. Hey, mm. hey, Mr. General over here. Uh, for Muhammad Ali or Michael Jordan? And it, now is it because hey, of his Hey, is there impact? any way he could be less creative? Why? He was, he was a good boxer, man. Really? How many no, Muhammad Ali's fights did you see? His, his social impact, too. I really resonate. What he did for civil rights, bro. Hey, you guys are kind of coming down on me, man. Hey, guys, come on. <laughs> All right, do I have to pick another unorthodox one? Um, no, just pick one that you gen I've never heard you talk about Muhammad Ali once. Well, I've read books on Muhammad Ali. Uh, I've seen documentaries. I've, I've we always all liked them. Um, damn it. Uh, uh, what, Jimmy you just favorite you just shitted on your back. I know. <laughs> Jimmy Connors. pick a guy who didn't like compete when you were Pro a kid. Probably. probably uh, he did, actually. I, was, uh, I saw a lot of really? fights. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. I don't know how the Brian yes. Callen, Muhammad Ali yes. timeline I'm 40, goes out, I'm 48. Do the math. Uh, but I would say Jimmy Connors. Jimmy Connors, and I've seen him play live many times. And that guy could get a crowd going. That guy was the most. He was the first tennis player to kind of scream at his racket and make fists and 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 taunt his opponents. It was so not done in tennis. Jimmy Connors was the first guy to do it. And a prick. He was a prick, but he was great. You loved it. Backed it up. Yeah. What about John McEnroe? <clears throat> John McEnroe was more of a tantrum crybaby. Jimmy Connors, player still, Jimmy, though. especially when he doubles of the best, with his one brother. Of the best. He forced uh, Bjorn Borg to retire because Bjorn Borg, at 26, realized he could never beat John McEnroe. But there was no one like Jimmy Connors. Jimmy Connors would beat all comers, and he wasn't built. He wasn't anything. He just looked like a regular dude. Most tennis players aren't built. No, though. but he was playing, and that was in the age when guys like Yvonne Lendl, who were six foot five and fucking crazy athletic with long arms and hit the ball like 100 miles an hour. You know, hour. he's a maniac, right, with training? Like, oh, Yvonne Lendl was the first guy. He was the first modern tennis player. Like, but he big retired and, and was doing like triathlons mm -hmm. and, and like. Just a monster. He's a he monster. He trained. Uh, Andy Murray to win the you know to all the way to the um, Wimbledon first Englishman to do it ever besides Rod Laver so I think Rod Laver is English. Jesus, do you play tennis yeah all the time uh, as much as I can um, but 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 so Jimmy Connors was was such a colorful motherfucker he was doing things you weren't allowed to do you weren't allowed to yell at the other player and <laughs> yell at the ref and scream at yourself and you know he was the first American T tennis superstar. means like a new young American. Who's it marketable does. and looks good. It Let's does. Like tennis. Fuck this shit! Like walks in. Okay, now hold on, Tom. What? Tom, what are you Fuck saying? Fuck it! Fuck this shit! 
Okay, man, hold How on. How am I doing this, boy? I know, Tom. I get crunk are you it. suggesting that he's... An That's ap- an ace, man! Like that? <laughs> Tom. What? Now you're saying that you you want a a black aggressive shit aggressive yeah, shit talker aggressive. in tennis. Yeah. That would be the best. I it agree. would be. Nobody would ever miss a match. That's what they need. Like a like a Happy Gilmore type in tennis. Well, I, I think tennis needs to be a little more black. The greatest player of all time now, all arguably. Match. Well, uh, Serena? Serena Williams, greatest female player of all time they say now. Sure. Yeah. She's phenomenal. She's amazing. I but sat next to her on a flight. Like, she does not she does not remotely speak that way. Um, I wasn't implying that she does. No, but you're saying you want. How else would he? You want. Like I want like a black male, like angry really male who went to law school, who's also. He's not in law school. What oh, is he having law what school? Talking about? Well, that guy who was in law school also sounds like the same guy who's winning tennis nah, matches. This guy. <laughs> or are there subtleties I'm missing? I want a guy that looks like Edger and James, Ooh, like out yeah. there. <laughs> You know, like, oh, yeah. boy. Like, ain't no double fault. Fuck you. Like that. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Ain't no double Sir, fault. can you please watch your language, please? Uh-huh. Eat my dick. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to ask you to get over to the, to the service. Bitch. <laughs> no, excuse me. And then he just serves, and it's just like ace again. He's like, that's 45 blood, faggot. Like that. Talk like crazy shit, you know? <laughs> but that's a really offensive word. Why I, I say? didn't say it. The guy said it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get away with saying offensive words like that. Oh, man. All right, Nike, well, Nike gonna bail me out of this one. That's what he would say. <laughs> That's what he was saying. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just don't know if I like your Nike. Edgerton. Pay my fines. <laughs> I don't know if I like your choice of a black superstar male tennis player because It'd be he's fun though. Would you not watch that? Can Every you make? Match. Can you have him apologize for using a homophobic word, please? Yeah, he'd be like, um, uh, earlier. T- he'd be like, earlier today, I said some I didn't mean. It was in the heat <laughs> of the moment. And I, de- I apologize to the LBDTTR community, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to donate $10,000 to they rainbow shit. <laughs> to, they, to they rainbow shit. And there's going to be a party on yeah. my friend's very gay lawn. Yeah. Excessively gay hey, lawn. Dudes with their asses will be out. All that shit y'all like will be there. Go ahead. <laughs> Do you see how we bring it back full circle with Tom Love Segura, it. ladies and gentlemen? Tom, where can they find you? Guys, uh, I just start. I'm on a tour right now through the rest of the year. I have a bunch of crazy shows coming up um, next week: Pittsburgh, Chicago, and uh, Pontiac. Chicago sold out, so Pontiac and Pittsburgh. Where can Already they get sold your, out. Where, in where can they get your dates at? TomSegura.com. Sorry, TomSegura.com. S e g u r a. U r a at Tom Segura on Twitter, and you can see all the shows coming up. Boom! Boom! You killed it, man! And I'll be in San Francisco this coming weekend. Who's with coming big, with you, Doug? Big Brown. You guys are going, are Me you, and Brandon Shaw going to San Francisco together. Tops? We're gonna have a blast. No, we're doing a punchline. Oh, you're doing the punchline? Yeah, that's gonna be fun, man. Oh, it's gonna be good, man. I got Big Brown. We're driving up together. Really? We're driving you're up. Doing oh the drive? yeah. I was so psyched. Really Brandon was like, "I'm coming. We have to. We have to do some business up there anyway. Right, some business up we there. Have to do some <laughs> I got my good there. boys, Tark and Yosef, yep. and Powers Gym. Yep." And but if you're offended by this podcast, go fuck yourself because we don't mean anything. Yeah, as Rogan says, anything you can't make fun of is bullshit. Yeah. Y'all can but, suck my dick. All yeah. all dicks, motherfucker. Uh, this is the Finally Kid. We're out. <laughs>